Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Wabashat. I'm really excited to be here today. I hope everyone else out there is as well. Hope you're all doing awesome. I'm feeling the vibes today, okay? I'm excited. And I've been getting a little bit of anime vibes recently from my list, which is awesome. Because that's kind of what I'm going for in a way. The whole power fantasy thing, I can kind of do whatever I want. Make it flashy, make it fun. <laughs> What's up, Anzac? How you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah, today we're just gonna play. Uh, if I do end up modding a little bit, we will see. But that's not on the agenda, so let's just see if we can actually level up and, and just play. That's kind of the plan anyway. Nothing too crazy. I started uh, rewriting the goals and stuff for finishing the list. Well, finishing the the alpha. I want to get it out there sooner rather than later, so oh. I'm trying to refocus a little bit still. There is a bar over there. Why is there a bar over there? <laughs> there should not be a bear. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Uh, I guess I already asked you. Sorry. But I'm not doing too bad. It's been a long week, but I'm happy to be off work for the next two days. Just kidding. I think actually, hmm, I don't see the sky shard. Oh wait, I think it's down here actually. I have no idea. It's been a while since I've seen this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just hope. Oh, do a little triple jump over there. Uh oh. Did the bear catch up to me? Or is there another bear? There might be another bear. Why are there bear rolls? Why are there barrels over there? We have to investigate that one. There's a bear. Jeez. Yeah, what's up with the random barrels? Gah. Okay. Well, at least I know how to fix that. And there's the sky shard. Go ahead and grab this. What a great way to start the adventure. Honestly, I'm tr I'm gonna try not to focus too much on the the archery like I usually do. I'll try to focus on one-handed. Maybe we'll mess with some mage stuff. Barrels. I know why they're there, though. What's up, Ren? It's okay. I know why they're there. Your mage is now illusion alt and resto spec. Nice. Nice. I really need to build a proper mage one day. Hello, Deal. How you doing? barrels <laughs> silly barrels you don't belong there along the river <laughs> I'm telling you every time I see a butterfly I just want to catch it so there are two things with dynamic harvesting or dynamic looting and harvesting that I need to fix one being the I think I have to fix the it's formless manipulator is what it uses and that's what I need to go through to patch the proper flowers and the same thing with the butterflies because I use these spy rallies butterflies although you know most of them I haven't noticed any issue with so I have to do some investigation doing good hey that's good to hear can you speed it up can I speed what up Oh, speed up the harvesting and looting. Maybe. It took me a second. I was like, speed what up? Oh yeah, that's right. We're talking about that mod. It is a good mod. I like it. It's a tad too slow. Uh, have you asked the mod author? I don't know how you would speed something like that up. I'm not good with animations. You know, if you really want to just 
if you want to loot fast, you could just loot with a weapon out. And it won't, it'll cancel the animation. Or you could just do it in first person. If it's too slow. That's when I notice I'm just like, okay, I want to pick some, some things really quick. I'll just head into first person. I know it's kind of a loophole, but still. It'll look too silly if it's too fast. Yeah, my immersion. Don't break my immersion. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. See, I just wish I could see my flowers. Also more wacky. Ooh, I want to get... I, I've been meaning to download a Fallout mod list. I'm not sure if people would watch Fallout, but I definitely want to play some. I've been, I've been considering it myself. I'm too focused on on the mod list or lore rim currently, so... You know what else I'm focused on? Getting a better chair. This chair slides me all around the place. Hey, what's up, Fiona? You'd watch it? You'd watch it? Okay, good to hear. I will look into it. Getting back into Fallout. I love I've always loved Fallout. I've always been a massive Fallout fan myself. I don't know what I'm doing directly right now with this character. I've been more just focused on lore rim when it comes to playing. Now I will be honest with you, my last my last episode of Lore Rim was really good. And I feel like I got a good solid start, good solid base with my character, which is awesome. Watching Piggy play it, just not into Fallout anymore. I almost wonder if it depends on the list too. I don't know. Fallout's I, I like Fallout. I just don't really like the settlement building when I'm streaming. We'll see. I won't be playing it too much though, honestly. Probably like once a week. Been in the mood for shooters because you're bad at them. I've always liked shooters. Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. I have personally always liked shooters a lot. I mean, one of my first games was Halo, so. Hey, Vysart, good to see ya. I see my heart's a little messed up, but thank you for showing up. I hope you're doing good today. Also, anyone else that I may not have asked today, I hope you are doing well. I know I tend to forget because I'm talking to a few different people all at the same time. We'll it's pay not whatever intentional. It takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Oh, I like the way HVM looks, looks actually. And ask Yorland Greymane for help. <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel yeah, for the Yeah, I really Legion. like the way she looks. That's have for sure. Seems to have aged job, more. Well, yeah, Skyrim is just so... It's always so crazy how much modding gets done to this game. Just how much stuff just keeps happening i can't explain it we just keep getting newer and crazier mods i feel like every week sometimes i don't hear a lot from fallout but i think fallout's getting a lot more love lately because of the tv show anyway way more tweaking yeah see that's my thing too is i like to play it in third person i don't know maybe if i just turn the fov up really high because i like those I, i'm a weirdo i like like the high FOV when it comes to shooters. Same thing in this. I'm surprised I don't play on a higher FOV. Ooh, should we go to Raven Rock today? We totally should. I should just grab all of these letters and stuff so I can kind of run around. Retrieve an artifact. I mean, we could definitely attempt... Bleak Falls later if we get, you know, a high enough level that is. But I'm not going anywhere near it right now without proper gear. Okay, that's good enough for now. I know missives are just kind of like a side quest thing, but we're side questing today. I like the new sounds, by the way. I might still change this one 
to a different one because I've heard some other ones that I like more. But all the other sounds from Rustic, I really like. Not too bad. Hey, what's up, Cat? Modding Skyrim is like the plague because every time you go into Nexus, you end up downloading about 50 mods. True, true, true. Dang, 95 mods today for SSC. And the fact that people still mod the original, too. We'll rule Skyrim Talos the I know your family's honor is Ooh, I gotta stop running through the town like that. It. it took me weeks to find Give me your money. I can't stop it. Right. And I can't get the sword of my own. Money. You I don't so really you want to interrupt a star, like wife and daughter, to reclaim some rusty old sword. I just need to hire one. I like the way he looks. I just like the way he looks in more rooms a lot more. Up. What? Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oops. Of course. She's pretty though. Back to my book. I'm sorry. I did not mean to interrupt you. Sapir. Wait. I. Most of these are like big booby presets, though. Yeah, that's usually I the case so for sure. Time among the dead, I sometimes forget how you much never know. It's them. just. Tell mainly, me, do you that's mainly in mighty CV. Arcade, God of life and death? You're very loud, sir. I'm gonna have to turn you down. Uh, yeah, that's always usually like 3BA conversions, all the different preset conversions and stuff, you know? Although, did you see the new Solitude Ferris wheel? <laughs> glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. Oh, really? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred be I misplaced it in the catacombs. Ooh, we could probably do that right I'd now. Without that amulet, I'm powerless. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the I mean, catacombs. we'll probably still die. But I could try. Of course. Okay. Walk on. Hey, blessing of RK. Blessing of RK be upon you. What are you staring at, huh? Yes. Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Don't mind me, I'm just eyeballing corners like a mad person. Just curious, am I a fan of the fantasy and sci-fi genre in general? Is it just these particular games that grab me? Um, I like a lot of different stuff. I think I'm kind of picky when it comes to certain things, but I do like quite the... the variety, I think. It all depends. I have the difficulty kind of down low right now, just so I can concentrate on the chat, too. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! I was not expecting to get rocked like that! Sheesh. Okay, sorry about that. Generic anime waifu follower number 9,000, right? Yeah, I know people like that stuff a lot, but nah, I'm not personally into it. I mean, I'm picky and choosy, you know. Loving Dawnfire, the three shoot you put in the Discord are using it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I have to go check out those pictures a little more in detail. Wow, look at all these cool followers, only to learn they were just empty Barbie doll dolls for weeps. I think I might be a bit of a weeb, but maybe not too much. I mean, I know some people who really like anime and stuff like that, just the whole culture. Whatever have you. I I like a little bit of this and that. Ooh, block book. I'd say my main thing is like, you know, Sailor Moon, of course. You're a weeb. Yeah, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> See, I, I hold the title proudly, just like this hand. We oh, yeah.
Isn't there a stone? There is a stone. I was like, there's totally one of these things down here. I'm just looking at all the new half faces tables. They're so nice. I love these new tables. I saw them up here as well. That one. It's another one of those. Nice. Ooh, there's some more. The abundance of crap churned out by said weaves on here is annoying. Yeah, I just tend to ignore it. It's it does make it harder to filter through things, I suppose, but if that's what people want. There's no I guess there's no stopping them, right? Oh, yeah. Harry, did you put your goblet in the fire? Wait, that's it's not right. Love these tables though. Half faces. Your mods are incredible, thank you. Very into the BOS stuff? Yes. I'm trying not to go too crazy. Name of the tables? They're the new ones from Half Faces. Uh, cat there. If you just- Half Faces is one word. Can't really show you currently. Here, go like this. Oh, perfect. Right on the- right on the mod, too. Breaking news, local Talos priest is annoying. Rival fix tales? How you doing tonight? Get the crown of Baron Zaya? Oh. Oh, the point of the gemstones. You know, I've done it once before myself. Uh, on stream anyway. Yeah, it's kind of just a collect-a-thon. And you actually, I think it's kind of a worthwhile thing to have. But not if you already have a lot of money. It's cool to find all the amethysts and stuff. All, or I guess all the different gems that you find. After you get the stones of Baron Zaya collected, you get the crown of Baron Zaya. It's been a while since I've done it, but basically you get like a... A power... That lets you find more gems and, and such in chests. Just for looting purposes. Although I still want to wear the crown. Sorry, I was blind. I was not looking. Oh, that's why you could barely see the dang thing. Hey, good evening, Joanne. How are you? Look good in a crown. Are you talking about the character? She will look good in a crown, I think. I am really liking this character. Honestly, both of my characters. I've actually started a backstory for Runa, and because of because of the character I made for Lorem the other day, Tova, uh, I'm now creating backstories for Runa and Tova since they're you know they're going to be sisters. All this other thing, all these other thoughts just kind of started falling into place. I was like, ooh, this and this and that. It's so awesome. When will I post her preset? It's actually about ready. I should totally post it. I think she is ready. So I should totally do that. I wish there was like a Lux patch for quick light. I'll have to look into that with Xedit. Probably not even possible. You're both of us will look good at crown. Well, thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Like the crown of the, the wait, you like the crown for your thief characters who only care about the shinies? I like the shinies. The shinies make me happy. There wait, there's a mod to have different textures for the crabs. Well I'm definitely gonna have different crab textures, different I've seen the guard armor variants. That's something I'm gonna have. Pretty much all animals, creatures, whatever I can have. Diapers, I will. Incoming Zoidbergs. I wish you could have like a 1% chance of Zoidbergs. That'd be so cool. What the? Huh? Looks like we got something to fix. Oh, thank Arcae. Please. Bro was, bro was levitating. 
He's possessed by R.K. I wonder if it has something to do with go to bed, or if it has something to do with the beds themselves. Is it going to happen again? It's probably going to happen again. Okay, no, it's fine. Well, the blankets are incorrect. That's a weird one. I'll still have to look into it, though. <laughs> Immersive bed, bed rejections. <laughs> a better duck mod. I would just glitched out when he got into the bed. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if it's Skyrim being Skyrim or if it's something that a mod did, you know? It's things like that that I want to make sure it's not just Skyrim being Skyrim at the same time, you know? But these beds are... these covers are completely wrong. And I know why that is, too. Little inconsistencies that I have to fix. Which is pretty much the the bulk of the final well not the final, just like the bulk of the of the work for a mod list after you've added all of your base and stuff and you're you're checking this out, you're checking that out, patching all these other things together so they all are consistent. He's a witch. I love it. I don't like the quest because it forced you to interact with the Mage Guild and Dark Brotherhood and the main story when you want to make a Kushi thief uninvolved. Have you ever tried the mod at your own pace? Well, Kat, I will definitely, I will definitely release the preset. I'll try to do that tonight, actually. I could probably do it. Hello, uh, hello, Darnell. Got Matt Bug. Usually because going into a room while someone's already laying down or it is a bad bed collision okay well thank you for the insight definitely like i said definitely something for me to look into and i have a few mods i mean there can only be a few things i'm thinking of currently the collision thing makes a lot of sense hey michael the end of your quest is not the treasure to seek but in each step is love that lights the spark in each peak oh that's beautiful for when all paths converge as they surely must, it is love you spread that turns gold from inner dust. That is beautiful, Michael. Hope you're doing well today, by the way. Uh, landscapes architecture using as a base. I am using uh, Atlantean landscapes. I use a lot of different architecture stuff. It's use so many different architecture mods it's great architecture mods it's crazy so it's hard to say specifically which ones i use but as a base you know sky i use pretty much everything and patch them all together what you're seeing right now in white run is pretty much illustrious white run and i think illustrious white run looks the best personally but then the the ground textures i believe these are from skirk bro um not skirk bro sorry i'm thinking of something else currently or maybe this is the alternate illustrious white run run right. uh stones whatever you want to call them It's just, it's hard to pinpoint every little thing, you know? Like rallies, market stalls, all sorts of different stuff. What does At Your Own Pace do? Oh yeah, Ren, answer that. Thank you. Does some fixes like letting you sleep on Soul's time for the Dragonborn one or skipping the college entrance exam, right? Yeah, it's, I use pretty much everything at your own pace. Because I really prefer them. No, 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 no. You look rather no. pale. Good. Oh, that was my own fault. <laughs> I have coffee. I have water. We'll stay hydrated and caffeinated today. Get back here. Welcome to my alchemy shop. Welcome Arcadia's to my alchemy cauldron. shop. Hold on. Oh dear. What about an invisibility potion? Of course. Of course. 
I am a delivery woman today. What road mods do I use? I use blended roads and simplest roads. And RVX. What is it called? RVX. Terrain, parallax, something, meshes. I forget what it's called though. But mainly it's blended roads and simplest roads. I think I have a few more things to grab. Oops. Okay. Is she gonna pray? Oh, she said it's okay. You can actually change the idol. I think in immersive interactions. Hello, Natalie. How are you tonight? Just put some suggestions for NPC replacers. Thank you. No, I don't mind at all. Sorry if it's it's hard for me to keep up with some mods on there, but I do really, really appreciate all of the suggestions. Of course. I really do, actually. It really helps build the mod list. Gets me more eye gets more eyes on mods. Shows me things that I haven't seen before. So where is that? This one. I can have it to where she- Oh, you can have it random. Hell yeah. Another thing I want to patch is open animation replacer. Well, the pretty female idols. I don't want the pretty female idols to start until I've idled for like 30 seconds. The reason being, and I'll show you in a second. Because of late, because of a shower, we didn't miss too much. We just made our way over to White Run, got some stuff to deliver, and we're gonna just walk around. Ooh, pretty! We're gonna walk around uh, Skyrim. We're gonna test our game today. Can I help you? Of course. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need What's rain effects? That lightning? What weather mod is this? I use Obsidian Weathers and Rudy ENV and Splashes of Storms and True Storms and Minty Lightning. Yeah, the rain is something else. Speaking of which, I don't know how many of y'all are in the Discord. Give me one second, actually. We're gonna do something. So... This is the load order library. Actually, I need to update it still. I, I, up I updated it only a week ago, but most of the mods... ...that y'all might have questions about would be in here, too. Just let me do one thing really quick, because I keep forgetting to throw this in there. And I know everybody wants to see what's going on with the mod list. So. Actually, I'm just going to go like this. There. So now, if you refresh the stream... There should be a load order library. If you're not being distracting at all, I just want to make sure that... Every time people ask me about mods, I'm like, I really keep forgetting to put this... in the description for people. It's one thing to ask me, it's another thing to be able to just like sift through the mods on your own and actually see what's going on, right? Dawn too. You really like the lighting, but the storms are lacking. Well, splashes of storms. It's a great mod. Gosh, that's outrageously nice looking. I love the... I just absolutely love the storms. This is why I don't use anything on top of obsidian. This is why I haven't switched to Kinds Weather and Seasons with Wander, which I've considered doing. I honestly just really like all this. Although I still might add Vivin Rain 
because I like this rain, but I think I like Vivin rain just a little bit more. Supreme weathers? Ooh. Who doesn't like crazy, crazy weathers? Honestly, I want them to feel realistic. I, have, I don't know. There's just a few little issues with these corners. They're not terrible. That's my one complaint in White Run still. But that's it. That's the last thing I really need to fix here. Because she has wares, still haven't added yet. Be on your best behavior. Okay. Kajit are few, but their will is strong. Nice hood. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. I actually really like the. I think these are our Zavbio's robes, because I switched over to those. It is all in this note. What? Oh, that's right. Uh. That's Saints and Seducers. I forgot Saints and Seducers was a part of the free stuff. Take a look. Yeah, honestly, weathers are super important in Skyrim. Gotta set the mood. Hey, what's up, Gears? How you doing? Your road lead you to warm sand. This end is just wonderful. I've honestly considered switching my tree mods to like blubbos or something. I really want to go crazy anime with this list for some reason though. I don't know why. But at the same time, I think I like the base we have. I think I can go crazy anime with certain things, but for the most part, I'll keep it very tame. It's so interesting. Lobos trees are pretty- I agree. Actually, Mouse's Skyrim uses blubos and it just looks so pretty. I don't know, I kind of like the way I have things with Nature of the Wildlands, QW's grass and stuff. Because she has awareness if you have cat mm -hmm. Or Skooma. Installed Blade Dancer animations so you could anime around like a lunatic. You, well, you want to see something real crazy I have in my game. I'll show you crazy. Looked absurd, but God, it was fun. Hey, what's up, Jimbo? How you doing? Pretty much, my game is tame for the most part. But I have some secret stuff too. Wait, where'd that go? Oh, I didn't spawn it, that's right. I'm probably actually going to save before I do this so I don't keep it. I've shown this one off before. Oh, interesting. What? Very weird. Very strange. Oh, that's why. Doi. Right, here we go. Sorry, that took me a minute. You want to see some absurd? Yeah, you want to see absurd. <laughs> Jeez Louise, right? Yeah, that's why they're just a fun thing I added 
to test out. I don't know if I'm going to keep them, actually. We're in female form, right? I think you can actually get Mjolnir. The drama of it. Yeah, it's all just for fun. She's she's meditating. I think there's a few other moves that she like breaks it in half. I can't quite remember how to do them though. The spins are crazy looking too. I love the idol. Hey, friend. Oh, that's nice. Good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Actually, I think the idols are being overwritten. They are. Hey, what's up, Python? I am doing pretty well. How are you doing? They would replace stealth archers. Yeah, I mean, even Nico's twin blades are pretty... I think they're still really tame. But even those are pretty out there. I think those are perfect for my game. But the Veriflare, if I was ever to add it to like a leveled list or whatever have you or put it in a special location, it would have to be in a really tough spot. I would. I'm talking... You have to find it, and you have to look really, really hard to find it. That's why I'm thinking no leveled lists, just put it in a certain location that's not nearly impossible to get to, just extremely hard to get to. If you want the crazy, that's how you get the crazy. Going anime with a list? Kinda. I mean, not anime of course but i and i you know i'm not like huge i'm not i don't have a huge anime inspiration in general i'm very basic on the anime level there's gonna be a few things in this game though that's just really bright and and pretty anime focused i guess in a way fantasy it's a power fantasy okay Everybody else wants to do the Lord of the Rings stuff, or... I don't know. I'm not saying everybody else. You know, I want my I want my power fantasy to be different from Biggie's power fantasy, or Nico's power fantasy, for example. Already I can tell you my game is much different than Nico's, even though I have a few things that I really like about his list that I've incorporated too. Hit me. See, it's stuff like that I don't want people to set have to set up, so even little consistencies when it comes to the MCM. I really don't want people to have to worry about the MCM at all. You can guide me in the ways of the weeb. Well, we do have an anime channel on the Discord, so... You know, feel free to drop any suggestions over there. Remotely that badass in the gutter that is Xbox modding. I'm sure there's something out there that's that cool. Windblades of Skyrim, which adds them to the level list. Yeah, sometimes you get destroyed by a bandit with one. Yeah, yeah, I do like the Twin Blades for that reason. I didn't add the Twin Blades of Skyrim in this, even though I love the Twin Blade Dawnbreaker. That's so cool. Uh, I just really like Nico's Twin Blades, but I'll consider adding the originals too for level list purpose. Or I think I could add Nico's to the level lists if I'm crazy. If you really want to go full weeb with the playthrough, then look no further than Maids 2 Deception. Okay. Physics on the gear. CBPC. That's what it's called. CBPC. Anzac? 
simply knock does not function on 1170. I'm sorry to hear that, Python. Felt embarrassed AF playing it. Cleared your downloads folder on MO2, had 340 gigabytes worth of uncompressed mods. That, that sounds about right, Darnell. That's quite a bit still, though. If you're anime, you really like Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't read the manga, so no spoilers. I, I really like Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon is my favorite, always. The add scythes? Yeah, we have the scythes. Although, I, that's another thing that I have to fix as far as... Uh, MCO animations go. Because they're using the incorrect ones. Look at that thing. That is huge. Sheesh. Yeah, we got the sights. They just have the wrong animations right now. Although they still look good. The, the stall rim one is just outrageously cool looking. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> I have to reload the game again. Uh... Jeez, Louise, that looks extremely uh, something out of Final Fantasy, right, Walter? Hope you're doing well today, Walter. Those battle sites are really cool, and they're supposed to work with... You should see the animations that they're supposed to work with, actually, because I used the... Um, I used to use the Cosmic War Scythe, which is the animations that they're supposed to be using. The animations are off the wall and fun. You haven't seen it yet? Well, you know... Sailor Moon is free to watch on YouTube, actually. So I'm interested about this weather. This I might have to change. Oh. Cool. <laughs> animation makes it so much better. You love the style? Yeah, you should see the Cosmic War Scythe's animations. Yeah, it's the, the original dub, too. It's the... It's the Japanese version, so no English. You have to read subtitles, but it's free. Works for you? you did you install the fix mod? The fix mod. Oh, I t oh, you guys must be talking about that one mod, okay. I don't use Simply Knock, so I can't really help with that. Have you guys checked out Destructible Skyrim base object swapper version? I'm testing it. I don't know if I actually want it overall. I do like that it's base object swapper, though. Because the original, I think, was scripted, so... You love Simply Knock? Not get it working with Take a Peek. I just never really care too much for those mods. Maybe someday we'll look into it though. So what's on the agenda? I guess Rorik's dead first. Oh. Well, let's go visit Nilsen first. And then we'll go to Rorik's dead. We're just... It's a good thing we have all these deliveries to do actually because... Wait, what? Where's she? Where's she at? It says she's outside. Hmm, interesting. What I should do is go get a paraglider then. Oh. Well. Uh, never mind then. Never mind. <laughs> Map lied to me. Ooh, butterfly. They're so pretty. I just have to fix them so that they work with... Aw, oh, cute. With the dynamic looting and harvesting. Because I want the, the jar-catching animation, too. But I use a specific... Butterfly mod. BOS enchanting tables. Oh, I love the BOS enchanting tables. Are we talking about wielding mans? Because I use those ones too. Oh, 
Ooh, pretty stuff. Sorry, Zenithar. Like, oh, apparently that's a static. Yeah. Thanks for the free stuff. Landscapes. Landscapes look really good. I'm sorry. Nothing looks better than QWs for the tundra. Yeah, the only issue I have with QWs is Riften. For one reason. Low, huh? What's oh, a stray dog? It showed a health bar, so I was like, oh, is that a wolf? I saw that little or the big cat. They all disappeared. Oh, there's a cat over there, I think. Terrible shot. No, that's a wolf. Right in the mouth. Hung up on Evoon's grass patch. You love the roses, it adds to the reach. Ooh, Evoon's. I'll have to look at that actually. Hey, Python. I said hello to you earlier. Hope you're doing well. Let's check out Evoon's really quick. Oh. Oh. Well, I already use Origins of the Forest and Folkfanger. Damn. I don't know if I like the Tundra here, though, unfortunately. I do like this. This is similar to what I have in Fall Creep already. I still think QWs is better here. Maybe it's just the picture. Similar marsh. I do like the reach a lot. That's kind of more what I'd want for the reach. Yeah, my only complaint would be Tundra. Not another whole ho, ho okay. Gotcha. It's like my favorite song. Patch together with QWs? Ooh, I don't know. I probably could. Like I said, my only issue with QWs is the reach. And it's just one fern. So I think I might just be better off patching that one fern. I can show you. We'd have to teleport there, though. Alright, I'm gonna save here and I'll teleport you and show you what I'm... I haven't noticed any other issues with QWs, but this one spot... The reach around. Okay, then. <laughs> you finally broke and put in an ENB. That you're talking about enb is nice I, I really like enb i tried community shaders once in anvil and i really wasn't a huge fan what is this the dark ages these ones right here and it's just the color of them that d they don't match just this one fern 
these wares and weapons all for sale at otherwise everything else i think in the reach is really nice trying to get to a more dense area there's more dense I don't know what's going on with the grass lot right now. Very strange. See, that's what I mean. You notice the color difference? It just doesn't really match. The yellow ones look good. Especially with the orange leaves on the ground. And the, the landscapes. Just this one that I'm stepping on right now. Can't figure out which one it is. I haven't really checked either, so once I do some more investigating, I think I'll just turn down the color. Or turn down the color. Just try to make it a darker green to match the other ones. It just doesn't match, and I don't like it. Find a way to put EMBs on consoles? That'd be sick. Or at least reshade? Yeah, that'd be cool too. Forced to wallow in the filth of console peasantry? Hey, you can still make it look really good with with a good weather mod. A good weather mod will definitely make your Skyrim look better. Just these, these one ferns. Dark Ages. Use Omnibus and be with Obsidian Weathers and Seasons. Still a long way from ENB, even after all those shaders were added recently. Yeah. Well, that's my other thing, too. How many things do you need to install for community shaders versus ENB? I'd rather just put an ENB in. Be done with it. It's been around for way longer. Like a decade at this point, right? And I never noticed any huge performance increase personally from community shaders. So for some people, it's probably a really good thing to have for me on my system. I don't think it's really necessary. Say that kind of stuff out loud during a civil war. <laughs> Just kidding. Eric. Oh, she's way over there. That can't be right. Whatever. Hey, what's up, Willow? How you doing? You shade presets because you want to technicolor one for Fallout Four. That'd be, be interesting. I'd be interested in trying out your Fallout Four mod list if I could. I might get rid of the dynamic sprint stop thing. I still can't decide. Once again, I could probably just tone it down. Every time I stop running, she's like... <laughs> A little fast. A little fast. What's up, Blue Neptune? Ow! I got munched on. What the heck happened to my sword all of a sudden? Apparently two doesn't work before. Okay. Oh, I am dead. I'm dead. Prepare to die! 
I'm prepared already. Sixty one is the highest outside of the fight. Rust test combat, nice. I don't have any potions or anything set up, so I'm. He is so fast. Oh, too bad. Jeez, you just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't you, buddy? Thank you. Stand right there. Let me shoot you. Ooh, she can take a... She got the heavy armor on. She could take a hit. With an arrow. You won't live to see tomorrow. What if I jump over this? What if I send you to the, the giants? Yeah, she can take a headshot. She got that armor on. Prepare to be sent to the Shadow Realm. Well, lucky for me, that's where I want to go. Now I'm just going to run. She's got full armor. I have, like, the lightest of armors. Owl world, just a heads up. It's Twin Blades time. That thing is pretty crazy. No, I got rid of that. Everything I have currently is stuff that I earned, technically. See, I love these little flowers. They almost look like weed plants. Just love the combo of the farmhouses that we have. They look so nice. It's morphin' time. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I came to deliver you something. A potion. Huh? Thank you. Here. This is for you. 300 septums for a potion. Sheesh. Run. That's a lot of money. The old frick pulls up with a Toyota Chevy? A Toyota Chevy. Nice. What's up, Blade Rar? He's, he's cooking. Yeah, I don't play Pal World personally. No Lola Gagan. Nice armor. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out. Fine. We're not going in there until the Yar's men come to clear them out. But if you want to get yourself killed, go ahead. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> don't know how. How will got away with ripping off Pokemon? Good question. I think they're still pretty upset about it, actually. Nintendo, anyway. Isn't it Nintendo? Or is it just Pokemon, their own thing? I can't remember. Where are you, big guy? Woo! I 
forgot this is a two-handed weapon, actually. Hey, chat GPT, what's up? Just dropping by to say you're about to dive into some Skyrim right now. Time to embark arc on some epic adventures. Well, have fun, chat GPT. I hope you enjoy. And don't be afraid to come back and tell us of your adventures. Tip the PC on deliveries. Does this mean that the PC should tip the courier? <laughs> yes. Yes, totally. Actually, I wonder if there's a mod for that. That would be a cool mod. Tip the courier? Make it. Make it happen, Darnell. There's your lifetime membership. Even a bot played this guy. Oh, I was like, where the heck is this dude was rodying me from? Oh, and he's shooting arrows. Great. And he's a level 21. Oh, I was trying to dodge that shot. I knew better. I knew better than to come in here, to be honest with you. Damn, he's a high level. And he's got a bow. And I have no armor, so I get destroyed. It's our first death today, though, so I shall take it. It was extract form, exactly. Exactly. Another 10 years or so with the advancement in AI chatting. Skyrim could be a completely different game in 10 years. You never know, honestly. It's getting crazier and crazier by the day. And if Elder Scrolls 6 isn't good... Well, even if Elder Scrolls 6 is good, people are still gonna play Skyrim, so... Still gotta fix a few of these trees around here. And these fences, too. Pretty sure there's a patch for Nature of the Wildlands JK Skyrim, isn't there? Like a full patch. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, that's a Riverwood fix. That's just for Riverwood. But I knew I saw something. I don't mind patching trees though, that's easy. Let me see if it is. Even if TSX is great, true. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna take some time. Hey, what's up, Amali? Skyrim will always be your favorite dress-up game. Oh gosh. I loved Bully, the first one. I am never waiting for Bully 2. There's no way that's gonna happen. If it does, I'll be impressed. I'm getting out of here. Mercy! Am I gonna die? Why? to weed the garden by sunset, and you didn't do it. Now you're in big trouble. Mind yourself. Sorry. One day people will do business deals in Skyrim VR online rooms. Oh my gosh. That'd be cool to think. I would love to see Skyrim together get redone or fixed up, I guess. And made for VR. Oh my gosh. That'd be so cool just have a bunch of us chilling in a Skyrim VR chat room together. Saber cat is too tough. Ah, okay. Yep. Probably gonna die again. Nope, we're good for now. Wait, he said zero eleven. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time for bully. It was such a good game. Bully 2. Anyways.
Don't forget Beyond Good and Evil 2. I don't even remember the first one, honestly. There's so many games I've just never heard of either, so... Or it's like waiting for Firefly to ever get a second season. It ain't gonna happen. Or was it a third season? I don't remember. I think that only had one season. And the movie Serenity. What a shame. Skyrim is tailored to whoever's playing it. True. Yeah, you, you really can't compare any other game to Skyrim anymore because it's so customizable at this point. Had one season in a movie, yeah. Such a good show, though. Like, such a good show. If you haven't watched Firefly, that's such a good show. Check it out. All good, but that ship looked, yeah. It did look kind of funny. 2004, set up for a sequel, never happened, and then... And yet, 2 is supposed to be a prequel, huh? Mother 3. Jimmy. Yes, his name is Jimmy. Went to a boarding school. Yep. It's a fun game, honestly. I almost 100%ed Bully. I liked it so much. Used to run it alongside Fastlane. Interesting. Jimmy Hopkins, bisexual king. Can I help you? Oh my gosh. Okay, I want my money. Can I have my money? Huh? Hmm? Thank you. Here, this is for you. Okay, candles are fixed. Yay, I'll candles are fixed. Um, this guy's gonna be really mad when I do this, probably. What? Destructible Skyrim! <laughs> I wish they would get pissed. That'd be so cool. Hey, what? Help! I'm being attacked! Oh. Until next time. Never should have come here. This... <laughs> Breaking all of this stuff. at the table it's all wait but see then the candle floats see that's the issue i have with destructible skyrim that's why i if i can't properly if i can't make it consistent enough i'll probably just remove it it's fun to mess with it's not really necessary though so watch what you're doing damn Cold-blooded. Beat Spider-Man 2, then went back to playing Skyrim. I had never- I haven't bought a console since the Xbox One X, personally. Now for food? Ooh, nice, Willow. Enjoy your food. Hope it's delicious. So we're on the way to Solitude now. Can I just say, I love this map. It's really pretty. It's got the anime vibes. Have a great night, Willow. Now it's really Dark Souls. You know, Valky posted a mod that's very Dark Souls inspired, or it is like a direct Dark Souls thing. I was curious about that one. That's really interesting. Although I don't know if I'd want it in my game. I'll be honest, these mountains have definitely grown on me over the last few months. That is a pretty map. I think I'll get rid of this. Also, this is my issue with pretty idols. Watch. So say I do a dodge. 
and I want to keep walking. That split second, she'll do an animation. She'll do an idol animation. But that happens without pretty female idols too, so... I wonder if it's just idols in general. But it messes with the smoothness. I don't like it. Some, like interesting roads? No. This is just vanilla. Wait. Who said that? You? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's a Falmer. She's really powerful, too. Same with the archer. Oh! Well, I know why. I know where we are. No freezing for you. My legs are kind of cold right now. I should maybe put some other warm clothes on. Not a good idea to come here, actually. No bathrooms in Skyrim? Where's the outhouses mods? Pretty sure there are outhouse mods, actually. And you want it. There are vanilla bathrooms in Skyrim, actually. If you ever notice. If you ever notice the buckets on the floor. In certain locations. Uh, those are the bathrooms. Iconic, yeah, the bucket in Ember Shard Mine. Exactly. Exactly. There's a few of them around, actually. And actually, I think there is an outhouse with JK's Solitude. Which we're headed that way right now, actually, so... If... I know how to walk the correct way. By the way, I found a free 3D model for a dragonfly. I think I'm gonna make a dragonfly paraglider and upload it to the Nexus, too. Although I think I'd have to animate the wings. So either I'd have to learn how to do that, or see if somebody can help me animate the wings. JK's interiors at AIO? Not quite. The Revelers! Again! Ha 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 ha! Again! I'd rather have two bottles of mead than two wenches, friend. Really? That's... a choice. <laughs> Outhouse is behind the Riverwood Trader in JK's Riverwood? Oh, that's something to look at too, actually. I never noticed. Those poor dogs be sick all the time. A school mod? Okay, then. Yeah, archery locational damage is going bye-bye. I keep forgetting to take that one out. But I do have archery or arrows and bolts tweaks downloaded. I just don't have it installed. But damn, archery locational damage is so aggressive. I'm walking here. Who's no simp? I'm missing out on something here. Who's not a simp? It's just Nord. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back up this way towards Rorikstead. And then back down. Okay. Definitely not gonna walk into the Forsworn again. That was a dumb idea. Hmm, 
interesting there too. I do have a little bit of a fix for that though. Which is kind of awesome that this comes with magical jumping. Yes, there we go. Okay. Well, that kind of fixes that. Yes, yes, yes. Much better. JK's Riften Outskirts. That's what it is. How's it going, Ernie? Yeah, I do have JK's Riften, or not Riften, uh, Solitude Outskirts, which I believe does have the, the outhouse. It's not JK's Skyrim specifically compiling your list right now hopefully it goes yes fingers crossed i want to download that list ren that's awesome i'm excited for you i need to get myself in gear finish some things off with this list so that i can compile it honestly i'd really like to have it in alpha state by next month i just have so much more work on my on my plate which i can do a bulk of what i need to do and still release this in an alpha then you know release updates as i go like 400 hours so it should be stable enough for you to have fun on the stream hell yeah well, i definitely want to support it on the stream if i can for sure get more people's eyes on it that always helps right Do my own sort of mod list showcase. <laughs> Ten with the mod Stonewall and King Hall Orphanage boarding schools. And that's where all the kids in Skyrim are. See? Sometimes you just gotta use your imagination. That's what Skyrim is all about. Role playing. Well, not necessarily. It's about adventuring. But the role playing exists. On that 24 day, I'm going to play finished modded game. What you mean, Blue Neptune? On the 24 hour stream? I don't know what we're going to do for the 24 hour stream. I want to do a bunch of stuff Skyrim related. My list, Lore Rim, Ren's list, Fallout. I want to play a bunch of different stuff if I can. We'll see though. Role plays everything. It's true. True, Blue Neptune. Too true. Okay, both of those nerds are over there, so I'm gonna take the twin blade. Wait, where's the twin blade? Uh oh. Did I break something? I must have broke something. Oh no, it's down here. It always falls out for me for some reason. I'm not sure why. Sorry, my nose is all itchy from my cats. Oh gosh. Try not to die from the... The two saber cats over there that killed these guys for sure. But I totally just yoinked that twin blade. We need this imagination. I'm kind of nervous to ask, but what is it I'm working on? I'm working on a, a Waba Jack, Yona. Basically, it's like a one click install. Well, sort of like a one click mod list install. People will be able to download my mod list, and it's going to be, you know, a thousand plus mods that you can just press play on and walk away from, come back and boom, it's done. Which is what I do with things like Lore Rim. That's 3,000 mods now. And I just press play and walk away, come back. Installation finished. I can load it right up without having to tinker with anything. You know, you, you'd be able to play an exact image of my list on your computer, basically. With just a few clicks. I'm surprised WizKid doesn't change this. Same with the tents. It's because then it's it's an imperial tent. That's why. Okay. Maybe WizKid did change. 
No, I would actually don't think it did. I kind of wish WizKids did change this though. They did change the plate. <laughs> Which does work pretty well for the salmon. The knapsack looks awesome. If we had firewood, we could use the campfire, which is so cool. Not gonna pick up- sorry, I don't know, I must have like a cat hair in my nose or something. Sorry, I keep scratching at it. I promise I'm not picking my nose. It's just really itchy. It's the cat's fault. Didn't know what Wabajack was, you were afraid to ask. Lest you reveal how little you actually know about modding. Hey, you know, you never learn unless you ask or research, right? So. I learned pretty much everything I know from asking questions or reading. No matter how silly the question is. Or feels like it is. Does this boat move? <gasps> Yay! What a peaceful ride across the river. Oh, what? I got myself stuck. Have y'all seen the flails yet? The flails are really cool. It's got SMP! It's actually so satisfying to use these things. Try to find some wolves. Flails were in Morrowind? I didn't know flails were in Morrowind. I know there were like spears and stuff. Only as skins. Hmm. Well, now we have them in Skyrim, which is pretty freaking cool too. They're absolutely crazy too. The way they connect the hits, the way they connect is very satisfying oh you would only end up hurting yourself with a flail kind of like nunchucks right I feel like i'd only end up hurting myself with the pair of nunchucks don't mind me i'm just looking for something to flail <laughs> animations too when you take it out it just like makes it spin around a little bit <laughs> much better than the whips the whips are kind of janky does it use mace animations i think it uses its Oh, it might use mace animations, actually. 
have to check on that. Hey, how's it going, Lone Wolf? It might use the mace animations. I'd have to look. Makes you sad. I love the idea of whips, but I think the flails are a great replacement. A little better. Hey, that's good to hear. See, here's the here's the outhouse. It can sit on the latrine. I hope. She, wait, that's weird. A deserved break, if I can say so myself. <laughs> she had to make the comment. <laughs> you know, it'd be really funny. Oh, actually. Oh, do they not work in first person? They only work in third person. Sad day. They don't work in first person, though. There's a snake in there. Be cool if you could cut this. Oh, yeah. The lock just falls down. The chain looks strange. I think that's because... It won't show it to me. It's definitely the wrong chain, though. This should be the Smim chain. Yeah, it definitely should be. this still is too low. So think about getting rid of this mod, honestly. I wish you could at least just turn it off completely if you want to. Animated armor add-on just replace the whips in the mods with the flails. That's a good idea. Actually, a really good idea. I actually removed animated armory from my list because I didn't that sounds weird. I just really wasn't a fan of like the quarter staffs and the the halberds and stuff like that. I might add it back though. And just keep a few weapons. Just, I don't know. They don't really fit my list too well. I want katanas and I mean katanas are a part of Animated armory. I just want katanas and scythes and crazy anime stuff. <laughs> like I said, though, I'd probably just re add them and remove some of the weapons. Oh, yeah, the rapiers. That's something I do miss. The katanas. I have the katanas with uh, katana crafting. They're not the same ones. I don't know. Maybe I'll consider adding adding it back. Hmm. Wish there was a lightened version of this. Also, yeah, those chains need to be patched. Every chain I see, I'm like, yep, that needs to be patched. Bronze chain is realistic, but not too strong. It looks nice, but it's just inconsistent, which is my issue. I mean, I could lighten it myself if I needed to. Or just remove it. I really like JK's solitude exterior, though. It's very pretty. It was hard fighting a good- yeah, that's my problem, too, with the quarterstaff, is the MCO animations are way too fast, too. Way too fast. No matter which one you get. I mean, you could probably slow them down, just the way they spin all around. You think I'd like that? 
I don't really like it too much. Now we can have Japan and Spain in game. <laughs> Those moons are great. I forget where they come from right now. The occult texture pack. See where it dropped. Unless the FPS isn't too bad, it just strains a little bit from draw calls, I think. I don't know, I wouldn't say that my game is too whatever Japanese inspired or just anime inspired whatever have you I feel like it's still very down to earth in a way I'm just going for the really vibrant fantasy look and I'm adding all the fun anime armors and stuff on top of it Just checking stuff out. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. You're folding steel? Ooh, that sounds awesome. Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. You know it's beautiful. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. But it's missing something. Traitor. I think it needs a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, wow. You Come betrayed us. us. Love all the E and D lights, the flowers and stuff. Wow. Rogvia, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate See, that's what I mean by fantasy. People of solitude. You know what I mean? He doesn't deserve to speak. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. And all That's really Lords. pretty. Wait, is that two different dragons, Tug? Oh my gosh. Keeping low. Looks so cool though. Yib. <laughs> now that would be a cool picture actually, right there. When am I going to play Dragon's Dogma 2? I don't know. I don't know if Dragon's Dogma is really my type of game, honestly. I never know. It's hard for me to spend $60 on a game I'm not sure I'd play to begin with. There should be a Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel there. It's so empty. It's so empty. This, where is it? 
See? This is what we need. <laughs> First one was super hard. I played a little bit of it. No, we don't need the Ferris wheel. I'm just kidding. At the market, father. Well, did you bring back any mead? I barely make enough for us to eat as it is, father. You can't just drink it all away. Hmm. Some daughter you are. Dude. I just want to punch this guy in the face. Huh? Thank you. Here. This is for you. Too many drinking games, too many bets, and I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. You Sucks should speak to, suck, to my daughter, then. Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Clearly. You drank yours away. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. You might want to consider that. Seriously, that looks so awesome. Look at all the colors. Oh my gosh. A whisper in the wind. They're new in town, right? If you need a place to sleep, head over to the Winking Skeever. We keep a fine inn. Nope, we did our job. Although we do deserve a break. Well, by we, I mean Runa deserves a break. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here playing video games. She's the one running all over Skyrim. Moon green, no eye? Yes, that's the one. Oh no, Nexus Premium is going away. I have to resubscribe. Resubscribe. Oh, no problems. It's too good not to show. Or not to tell people. You know? I want everyone to have those beautiful moons. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. Just the best looking moon mod I've ever seen, personally. Goods and wares of all kinds, and all can be yours. Goods, wares, and weapons. Why is the density so high, but the animations? Come, come, and see what goods I offer. Oh, and they're all... It's such a tricky thing to get them animated without being too crazy. Far I have traveled to bring you these fine goods. Come and see what I offer. Hmm. It'd be cool if I could just get them to sparkle like that. I'll figure it out someday. Tools, wares, yeah, and weapons. All for sale Are all the cycles there? Places. Yeah. Looks like daylight in Southwest Florida. You can almost see it. Of all kinds, and all can be yours. But yeah, I think all the cycles should be there. Oh, 
I want to see what's up there. Oh, it's the oil. Gosh, that, that mug is so out of place. Grass cached and speed rerun too. That's how you can tell it's been a long time since I've run grass cash, actually. Put the weapon away. I think I have to go to Morthal next, right? Oh, Windhelm. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim. Just the scare, just the the carriages too. Palace there was built by Yisgrim Sometimes have himself. a problem with moon cycles. I haven't noticed any issues with this one personally. Yeah, looks pretty here too. I still feel like the bridge could be much more exciting though. Definitely don't forget to drink water. Water is good for you. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a I refuse too. What place. do you got to say to me? Maybe, hmm? maybe I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. <laughs> nice robes. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. Hmm. I'm suspicious of that guy. A chicken. Just a chicken and a goat. Okay. I've actually, like I said, this is like the first time I've really inspected JK's Windhelm. It's very pretty though. Let's hear it. No. Nope. Oh, look at that stew. Stay calm. Actually looks edible. <laughs> I feel like this little district area looks way, way more lived in. Pretty sweet. We talk Skyrim politics. How does everyone feel about Stormcloak quest for independence? I think it I think it depends. I honestly don't really care about politics, so 
in my honest playthrough, I, I would just completely ignore both sides. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call Holistic the food mods, me too. But who's going to stop him? Great quarters get a gray. What's up, Brandon? How you doing? Is a paper tiger all he cares about is power? Yeah, I don't. That's why I don't politics. I think both sides are pretty, pretty silly. Looks so cool. Oh my gosh. See, now I'm over here. It looks really cool too. Stormcloak guards, a coward. Not doing his job. How that's kind of mossy. See that? That really looks cool with all the glowing EMB lights. Hey, what's up, Nianesty? Love the name. I've probably said it multiple times, but thanks you thank you for uh showing up. Hope you're doing well. Oh, it's frozen. Well, it's pretending to be frozen. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Nico? Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the barrel. The trash man. I'm the trash man. I throw trash at people. <laughs> Feel the high king in cold blood, true. You kids out of my lawn again? Oh no, everybody run! Cheese it! <laughs> oh, I have to wait? I guess it's only a few hours. Ooh, okay. Nice. I don't- I hit him with the trash! Right? Chair. I don't know if you knew this, by the way. But apparently there's a random option for the weight in immersive interactions. So she'll do different weight animations. She'll lay down. That's so cool. Just laying down in the middle of the road. <laughs> And then there's the sit animation. Yeah, it's just completely random. I like it. You have random diaper sitting. Yeah, it's a part of the immersive interactions. Like the waiting option. That's so cool. I just found out there was a, a random one today. Let's go find Nilsine. Huh? Thank you. Here, this is for you. The hell? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's fine. I was like, wait, what's going on there? But it's okay. It's inconsistent, but it's not broken. That's broken, though. Have you been learning your oars? I think I've got a handle on it, but Orichalcum is confusing. Hmm, Don't even bother with that one. Leave it to the orcs. Oh, right. That makes sense. Kind of a messy metal, anyway. I wonder if it's exactly. dined a lot, actually. Hmm. Now, wait. And now it's experience in static skill leveling. I removed static skill leveling, but I might add it back, honestly. I thought about adding it back today, because I do like it. But experience. I do like experience. And I use Yans. Yans is cool, too. You are not special. You love it? I, I think it's cool. Uh, it can be kind of a... Not a nightmare. It can be kind of a weird one to patch. So just be aware of like the point distribution system. Sometimes it'll like to break with other mods. But I love it too. I think it's a great mod. Makes you a pet horse in battle. Immersive interactions. What? 
Makes you pet the horse in battle. Ooh, I could probably turn that off, though. Think about adding it back in. Static skill leveling rewritten. Not just with ordinator. I use Volcrenator choice cuts. Yans. Yans is a good one. The only thing is I would like to patch it to where all of the starting skills are five instead of one. Because I have, I'm using more bonuses, so depending on the race you choose, you do start out with certain levels higher than others. Uh, but I would like the base to be five, which is easy to do. I just need to do it, right? Uh, but I like Yans, it's cool. Great quarter editions, maybe some remembers what did it. Um, JK Skyrim, Python. The ordinator is half that. Just change the game setting record from one to five. Yeah, I figured it was easy. I just need to do it. So many else, so many of the things that I'm thinking about, I just, as soon as I'm playing, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that. Yeah, Volcrenator is huge. Look at alteration. I mean, just look at all of the mage trees in general. So many options. Maybe a little too overwhelming, but I like it. I like the, I like having options that makes builds more intricate, more interesting. Although some things will need to be patched. For example, this ethereal arrows is way too low for a requirement. That should be like a hundred, not ten. Just curious, Hadvar Rayloff? I usually choose Rayloff, but I choose neither with Paradigm, so. That is crazy. It is crazy. I know it's a little too much for some, like I said, but it just gives people more options to build certain ways, which I like. And if you use it with Yans, like I said, level one, level one, level, these are all level one. You have to try to actually level them up, but some of them are 12. Some of them already start out at level 10 and level five depending on which race you choose. So it makes you kind of think about which race you want to play as from a roleplay standpoint, I guess. But I still would rather them be at five base instead of one. Easy thing to fix, though. Should, wait, you sound like Biggie on the Ethereal Arrows thing? Yeah, yeah, it's something I, I'm going to need to fix. I don't mind power fantasy, and I, I want it to be super fun and, and easy at, as well, in some cases, because the game is unleveled and deleveled so I want there to be some things that are kind of fun and cheesy in a way but certain things I don't really like archery is already pretty OP you don't really need ethereal arrows so just level that up a little bit or make that a higher requirement I suppose just little consistency patches for my own personal sake my job and uh, hello, now. RM. I don't know they if I said that, really but I hope you're doing well tonight. Thanks for joining in. And really good with static skill. Yes, with static skill leveling, I think it's a perfect mashup. No, I want to take my time with it. Can I help with it? I don't really want to do any any of this stuff right now. This is more delicate work. We might go join. Well, Toba's joined the Companions, so I don't think I'll join the Companions with with Runa right now. She should become a thief. <laughs> no, I don't know what her backstory really would start with. Toba would be the Companions, and Runa... Hmm. I feel like Runa would be best with her scene, personally, so maybe a little bit of fall grief. You like class systems letting you choose classes to have skills in? Yeah, I mean, it, it's just a nice little roleplay perspective thing. Thought you teach you, but you know your master. Huh? What's up, Blue Neptune? You could teach me if you want. I am no master at anything. I learn and I observe and I try to do the best I can with things, but I am no master. <laughs> A jack of all trades, a master of none. Not even a jack of all trades. I suck at most things. 
Have you ever played any tabletop gaming? No, I have not. Just with people. Oh, people. Gross. No, I'm just kidding. I like y'all. You're all awesome. Uh, in real life, though, being around people can be a bit draining sometimes, though. Want to earn your power fantasy, not have it given to you on a syllabus? Yes. I agree with you there, Darnell. I want some give and some take, right? I want it to be fun and, and easy in certain... I said that already, though. Fun and easy in certain ways, but not so much in other ways to where you could just get extremely OP right away. But that'll never be 100% easy for me to patch and fix. I'll do my best, though, I promise. Think about d and I'd love to learn d and Where I live, we don't have a lot of groups for stuff like that, or I haven't searched enough. But I think I could get into d and if I tried hard enough. No, I want this. Two foot tall tabaxi wizard who's basically a sapient house cat. Okay. With magic and bother personal personality behavior. Sorry, I can't read some of that, but nice. Very nice. Back in the 90s, D&D was what you had for Skyrim. That's what I hear. To be platinum. You want your platter to be platinum, not silver? Nice. Like games like Outward as inspiration for your list, so you think we have similar similar vision. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to try your list. So I can kind of see what your vision is. Used to own hardback copies of Monster Manual Dragon or Dungeons Master's Guide, Player's Handbook. I didn't know you liked DD stuff, Nico. That's so cool though. You'd be great at it. It's, I would love to learn. So if anybody wants to get together for some DD. I would like to at least try it, but I know that takes a lot of learning. Excited to get up on Nexus? Me too! Maybe pieces around? Oh gosh. I know D&D &D is like another level for me. Use cantrips to take people's days worth? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, Vulpix Tales. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. This must be a, a whiz kid thing. Used to collect lead figures, or lead figures, lead figures? Lead figures. What is that sound? What the hell is that sound? The metal, gotcha, lead. Yeah. Yeah, I heard something. What is that? Sounds like a broken sound file or something. Super late. Wait, you were super late to getting into RPGs and such? You missed out on quite a bit. Same. Really, Bethesda was what helped get me into RPGs, so... I say that with heavy quotes. I can take it. RPGs. Wizkid did such an awesome job. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Did these animate too? Wish they did. When your last years of high school you got into it. Lead figures. They're why you make glass and swords now? That's so cool, Blue Neptune. I want to play it. Oh yeah, I would definitely like to play a rogue. Rogue is my style. Archer. Two, two uh, daggers. Two reverse daggers. That's like my style. I'm surprised we haven't. Well, we should craft. We should actually craft Tariel's daggers. I don't want to just steal them. Be the first one whose puns make the DM say a few. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like I'd be pretty good at that then. Not gonna lie. Ooh, hello, buddy. We could be friends, I swear. 
I swear we can be friends. Why are they working together? Leave me alone. Oh, knocked him down. See, this is why archery locational damage can be pretty cool. A little bit of lag there. Not a Nico sword. That's a katana. We do actually have a twin blade. I just yeah, I have I need to set it up still. Let's see, that dodge shot. So awesome. Thank you, Skypea. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think that's who made it. You're too late to the gaming table as you discovered it. And ADHD first. Yeah. Or ADND. Sorry, ADND first, Ed. That's cool, though. I don't know why I saw ADHD, though. Probably because I have ADHD. Alright, should we get real crazy? Because I do have a Nico weapon. Is it still that size though? Hmm. Weird, you can't see them both. I feel like you should be able to. I mean, that's better that. Oh, they're both two handed though. There's probably a way to set that up. I'm not going to go through all this right now. What I'll do for now. Which one was it? working good. One mail. Oh, I didn't even notice. Thank you. I don't know why it's on that. It's really strange. It also says I'm on Saber Cat. Strange, but thank you. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I want to make it a custom gear node, though. Ultimate piggyback ride? Advanced duckies and donuts? What is going on in here? <laughs> I wish it was duckies and donuts instead of Dungeons and Dragons. I probably would have been more interested as a kid. say I like ducks. Let me up the mountain. Let me up the mountain. Oh, uh oh. This guy climbed. He broke me. Be coming around the mountain when she comes. So then worshiping the moons makes sense. Moon sugar. 
No. Bad wolf. No. Bad wolf. Look at that cooking pot. That is, oh, there's a burning body in there. There you go. Now you're a pothead. Sheesh. The lots are messed up there. What? Oh. Actually, that's an easy fix. Must be something with Shades of Skyrim, actually. Shootable? Oh, that's cool. There's a BOS version of it. Not bad. It's interesting. How would you want to shoot the burbs? Or cure disease potions? Uh, how could she change with what moon they're born under? So a humanoid Khajiit could be riding saber tooth and carrying a house cat and they all be brothers that actually is cool oh i think i know exactly what you're talking i think i've seen something like that before actually what's up clever just randomly clicked on a video just to see a pothead on fire uh yeah sometimes things get a little unhinged around here so welcome to the unhinged madness that is Skyrim. This guy is totally gonna- oh, they're both gonna destroy me. No, before you ask, no faster spiders. Oh, these guys- oh, I think I just heard an arrow. These guys are so aggressive. So strong. You keep getting closer, I'll just keep backing up. Aww. A perfect horror mod list, yeah. But truly terrifying? Yeah, gross. I don't- I don't wanna... No thank you. No faster spiders. Two minutes ago? No thank you. Those spiders can leave me the heck alone. Thank you. I figure out how to download this mod list so you watch me play it. Well, this mod list is mine and it doesn't quite exist yet. But soon, hopefully. Soon. I have eight legs to hug you with. Come back. No! <laughs> no! You stay the heck away from me, spiders. Same with you. You stay away from me. Actually, isn't this the way to Iverstead? I don't remember. Grabs four sets of handcuffs? Yes. Uh, or just a massive twin blade to strike them down with. You know, like this one. Oh, it's Nilheim. Doi. I knew that. Yep, twin blades work good. Maybe just my head is open. Is that a sky shard over there? Or is that just a flower? Ooh, that's a sky shard! Ow! Worth it. Replace the mailman with a frostbite spider? No, no spider couriers for me. Thank you, though. Spider couriers. I will pass. Bet you this rowboat works. Yeah, it does. 
Oh, look at the new dragonflies. They look so good. This model is available for free. I'm going to turn it into a, a paraglider. Master spiders of Curious Spiders, you're getting this message. I have a message for you. Your hands only. Get back here. In Monster Misumi territory. I'm gonna train with a weapon IRL. Would you go with the bow or twin daggers? Well, I'd go with the bow first. If I had to choose one or the other, for sure, I'd go bow. For sure. But if I could do both, I would definitely choose both. Mmm, fish. Mmm, fish. Mmm, another fish. Do I have a fishing pole yet? Nope. Now I do. Wish you could learn spells? Now that would be cool. That would be super cool. We're doing some late night fishing. Or some, yeah, some late night fishing. Oh, no, bait. Here, we'll get some bait. Yes, yes, I know how to fish. No, the boat's in the way. Boat, you're in the way. Okay, you know what? Fine. But my immersion. Such an important point to make. Maybe Sue's might the word. Okay, now I see. Um, what? What did I break? You see, I'm using... Oh, it's because I'm right in the way of the fishing supplies. Damn it. There we go. No, it's still broken. Hmm. That's the first time I've ever had this break, actually. It's just fishing forever, I guess. I don't think I've ever had this happen before, actually. Frost, fire, or shock? Probably fire. I like fire. So random. That one over there is just broken forever. Apparently. And then the fishing supplies thing is weird too. That's one busted fish and pull. Yeah, go figure the CC content. Summon a Daedra. Clean my house. Catch the fish. You got this. Nice. What we get? Ooh, silver side perch. I wonder if we reload the game. If that will go away. If it's just stuck there. Poison damage and a radius. It's still broken. Strange. Where was I here? Oh, jeez. That was a long time ago, actually.
least for this game. I need to look into more of that. That's the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Started playing Skyrim because you wanted the fishing mod. I like the fishing. It's fun. I like that you can also fish anywhere you want now. With mods, anyway. Restoration would be super useful. True. So true, both fixed tails. I I do like the fishing. Honestly, with fancy fishing, the mini game thing is really fun. Uh oh. Yeah, this is called fancy fishing, Nico. A slaughterfish! Ew! What am I in, Florida? Harvest the Nern root. Yeah, the Stardew Valley thing is so cool. I like it. Oh, gosh. Slaughterfish sushi? Ew. That's a little better. I'm telling you, these these ferns are driving me crazy, though. I must fix them. Rick, your immersion edition? Okay. Well, I wasn't suggesting it, so... Be careful. Florida, you dive and look at the fish in the eye. <laughs> the Chesco old fishing mod for Ellie was okay, but not what you wanted. I like the Chesco mod. It's still really good. Again, Chesco camping is still... Today, or Chesco's campfire. Is still really nice. Yeah, I guess you gotta take everything into consideration for your own list anytime you see something you've never seen before. Like, hmm, pass. I'll beat you with the fishing pole. Don't test me. The reason I like the fancy fishing is because Skyrim fishing is kind of boring. And I've always liked Stardew Valley fishing. Because I like Stardew Valley, so it's kind of a perfect fit for me. Although I suppose it does kind of break the simplicity of Skyrim fishing. I like pretty much all of Rin's farms. I wonder if though, see these ferns I think are included with grass cash though, or not with grass cash. I think these are a part of QW's grass. So I don't think it has anything to do with like, oh, they're so bright. I like the yellow ones, the yellow ones fit. It's just these certain ones right here. But I think it's part of grass, grass patch. That's the literally the only thing I don't like about QW's grass, which I can fix, thankfully. After consider it for years, true. Yeah, it's just the color, which I know I can fix. They're just too. I want it to. I want it to match the grass color. Sorry. There's a neat spell that makes learning magic harder. Yeah, it's well. I have, there's a few different ones. I use this one. This one takes seven hours to learn. Basically, it's you, you just can't eat the books. <laughs> you can do it. I will definitely do it. Asura Reconstruction. Expend 20 stamina per second to heal a damaged conjured minion. 20 points per second. Whoa. Cool. 
But I would love koi to eat out of your hand when they were- Aw, oh, that's awesome! I would love to feed koi fish. What books are yummy? Mmm, delicious books. Okay, this way is gonna take me to fall free the quickest, so... Although we could do some work here. Look, the fancy fishing mod, you personally agree with Nico? Not for everyone. You know what's cool about... Sorry, you know what's cool about fancy fishing mod? You can turn it off in the MCM. So if you don't like it in my list personally, you can just turn it off. But once again, I liked Stardew Valley a lot. Specifically the fishing, so... I'm not gonna attack you myself. But yeah, I agree though. Knowledge is power, RM. Without knowledge, I would never be in the position I'm in right now. The other half is incredible violence. So no eating the books. That's true. No printing press in Skyrim. Come back. Just bring bringing bears into Iverstead. Do Don't mind me. Oh no. That's close enough. Did me do? I was just trying to hurt the bear. The the horse is fine. Ah! I'm getting out of here. Why don't you help instead of trying to run? There you go. Good enough. Sheesh. Sucker for terraria fishing? I've never done terraria fishing. No! Horsey! Bad horsey! It's bad enough I have a bounty. The comma gets you. How dare you shoot me with that arrow? Yeah. Come get me. Bad horse. See now who deserves the bounty? Me or you? Criminal <laughs> shot. Evil horse. Bro, this horse is evil as hell. Am I a Noir? No. Well, I guess technically in this situation you could say I am. I suppose. Dude, if this horse does not leave me alone, he's gonna get disabled. <laughs> hey, what's up, VibJ? Good to see you. How you doing? Is that another bar? Oh, it's a troll! Other mods using it, making mods for it. Oh, the uh, Ferrari fishing, or the fancy fishing thing. How's the stream going? I'd say it's going pretty well. I always have fun streaming. No crashy crashies yet. I can only dive once. But we're doing good. Still haven't leveled up, but we do have a level up. Ah, oh, I missed static skill leveling. See, this is just OP. It's gotta go. Not gonna lie, speech is actually super underrated. Maybe better for a Breton, though. 
or an imperial you know the sprint stop thing is annoying me more and more the, the shout path of speech yeah this one is massive look at all the different options you have there's like a whole performer pathway serenade irresistible dance can perform in combat to force the two nearest enemy people within 100 feet to dance spellbound preventing them from attacking or acting and reducing their armor skills by 50 percent use again to stop imagine imagine using this like making a bard character and using something like that that could be the true enraged bard build <laughs> Accidentally depleted your or deleted your deployment and just decided to switch over to SE. Well, while you're at it, I would totally recommend switching to Mod Organizer, Mod Organizer Two as well, if you can, Bib J. Bocreenator Black, yes, it is. Yes, Bocreenator Black is quite interesting. How many perks do you want? The answer is yes. The answer is always yes. No skooma? Hey, what's wrong with skooma? In fact, if I had skooma, I'd pop a skooma right now. In the game, of course. Shame consoles can't have Learning black, but beggars can't be choosers. True. Hey, at least you'll have Ordinator. Having Ordinator on console is probably really nice. Ordinator is honestly the best in my opinion still. Even though I use Vocrinator Black, Ordinator is my all-time favorite on its own. Did someone say Skooma? Yes. This one likes Skooma. This is a Skooma safe stream. <laughs> I thought you liked the Khajiit Bullfix Tales. The Khajiit love the Skooma. Take a shot of Skooma every time I die. Well, I've only died once today, so you only get to have one shot so far. Honestly, this is kind of creepy. I like it. Beware. You're about to hear a screaming man fall from the sky. Oh wait, no, that's up there, isn't it? Ooh, shiny. Oh, this is Helgen. I'm in the wrong spot. How long does the skooma high last? About 10 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Now that I think about it. Has she come from a giant sandbox? Yes, they you poop on warm sands, as they say. Okay, yeah, I gotta go this way. Wait, I think I have to go this way, yeah. Moon sugar. The Dark Elves made Skuma to make it easier to control the Khajiit. True. That I did know in, about the lore, so that's true. You got me there, Bullpix Tales. Degenerating returns like any- yeah, true. I feel like skooma is just a really, really bad drug. Probably very highly addictive and fleeting the more you- the more your tolerance goes up. I think formerly Blue did a really good, like, roleplay where their character got Addicted to skooma and stuff. I went the wrong way, sorry. You're making me miss my own bed. Okay, we're going the right way though. Just 
stay away from the red water skooma, true. Yeah, that's the real dangerous stuff right there. It's like the black tar of the skooma world. You have a little, then you want more. Exactly. Is this green side? Jeez. This is totally green side shack. Green wood. I always call it green sh green side, but it's green wood. Hey, where are the where are the curtains? There's supposed to be curtains here. Because she's her path has a little. Similar to opium. That makes sense, actually. I thought that bunny was an enemy. I bet you enhanced blood textures broke our. Yeah, the whole top is black. Is a Thalmor spy. Too true. Where's the key, I wonder? Probably on the... On, not the bodies here, but... The ones up the river. Do you have to use one of those deep fake tools? No. Well, technically you do, but... Just download a Wabajack. It uses something either called Stock Game or Game Root. So basically the game is downgraded within Mod Organizer 2, so you can keep your game at 1170. You know, the newest version of Skyrim, but... You're playing on either 1.5 or 1.6, depending on the mod list. Mine's going to be on 1.5. Used to make Redwater exclusively. He contracted Sanguine Vampiritis. Haven't seen him since. Ooh. Maybe you should wait for him in the nighttime. He might show up then. Okay, I actually need to take a quick break myself. Runa needs some sleep anyways. Boy, this lamp thingy is like right in the way, isn't it? Or it's not a lamp, it's like a... It's for hanging game on, I believe. Rabbits and pheasants and stuff. Gotta be careful around here, actually. This is next to the shrine of your scene, I think. Which I think I should have now, so. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break really fast. Do you have an RP for this character or more focused on the list? Definitely more focused on the list. But Runa does have a bit of a backstory, and I can talk about her. She doesn't have a, a big backstory, I don't have a lot about her yet. But I'm working on Runa, and she has a sister and stuff now, too. So, working on mainly just the character side of things. Runa, Tova, more of the family members. And the backstory is something I'm still working on. Like, Tova is very much fisticuffs, wants to beat everybody up, part of the companions. And Runa is more hunter, bow and arrow, rogue. Lone Wolf, Shrine, or she worships her scene, stuff like that. So I guess Runa and Toba can be pretty similar. But they, I guess they're still different in a lot of ways. And like I said, Runa's more of a lone wolf, so. Tova? Yeah, it's her sister. You spelled it right the second time with the H. She's in Lorim, actually. So if you want to see my last stream, you'll see Tova. We headed to bed. Have a great night, Yanisty. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
get all kinds. Yeah, so RP is something I really like to do. I just don't spend enough time doing it. I'm happy, though, that Runa and Tova, Snowbane, are a part of something I'm creating. They're half Nord, half Elf. I don't know what sort of Elf... I think I was thinking Bosmer. I'm not sure, but I think the mother would be Bosmer, right? Whoever's... Wherever the dominant side would show for an elf, you know? Which I believe is the mother's side. So just know I'm still crafting this, this character. But hopefully we'll roleplay her. We'll roleplay more, both of them more and flesh out their stories. Very woodsy, yes. Yeah, Bosmer is true. It just feels right, I guess you could say. They have similar tattoos as well. Hey, Paul, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Thought Bosmer were cannibals? Yes, well, they could be cannibals if you follow the Green Pact. I don't think all Bosmer technically have to follow the Green Pact. Uh, but she's half Bosmer, technically, so. She's still a bit, she still has the Nord in her. Okay, I'll be right back. Just gonna take a quick break. Something past to leave a like. Hey, thanks, Pixel Knight. Have yourself a wonderful night. I appreciate you. Yeah, only in, in Valenwood, for sure. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Not too long, thankfully. Some still choose to follow it outside of the... Yeah, personal interp interpretation, I feel like, is a big factor in a lot of Elder Scrolls lore, too. So it's good to know the lore so that you can see where you can kind of interpret things, I guess. Do that in Proteus. I, st I don't use Proteus actually anymore. It's a cool mod, but 
I don't know if I'm going to include it in the lava shot as much as I like it. Oh, I think a cool mod would be some way of easily making your character stay in game, like an NPC. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess for that reason, RM Proteus is actually a good thing to use. That's a great suggestion, actually, Amali. BG3 does that, we friends. I'd love to play BG3. Actually, you know, BG3 might be a good way to somewhat get into D&D, I've heard. Maybe not so much. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But BG3, I feel like we could also play that one together, right? So I'd rather look into that one personally when it comes to games. Friends stick around camp. Pretty sure your two characters would hate each other. One's a necromancer, a vampire lord, high elf who serves Harkon, and a Khajiit witch hunter. Yeah, I think they would definitely hate each other. Ride with Anir in your game. Nice. Nice, Python. It just makes sure there's two different versions, RM. I think there I think Project Proteus is the older one you don't want to use. Just Proteus is what you want. Hello, Lena. How are you doing tonight? From Amory Manor mod, okay. So yeah, BG3. That's one I really want to look into. Nico, you're going to have to tell me how you patched the wood texture. The, it's the blood, right? Mm, I'm trying to remember what that would be. Gosh, I forget what it is. That makes, like, the blood black and stuff, too. It's like mix missing a texture path or something. Cat dog? You're alright? Rough day at work? I'm sorry to hear about that. Well, I'm glad you're here, and I hope that you get a chance to relax, because I know it's never fun to have a rough day at work. Trust me, I've... I've had my fair share of rough days at work. Some rougher than others, but... Just relax and helps. You know? But what about cat dog? Oh, became a werewolf, I see. Purely hate for vampires. And yeah, now you have a cat dog. I've been trying to get the music level perfect lately. I want it to be a little louder than it's been lately, but still not too loud. Gosh, they all see me already. Your nerve fire is going to guide you into death. How about that? Oh, yes. Look at that aim. Sorry, that was just such a good shot. It's a good mode to be in right there, Lena. I get it. In my stream, we call it Fats Garden. But it's a bit of an inside joke calling it Fats Garden, so. Oh, those boots will look mighty fine on me. Oh, you really want my boots, do you? Ah. I should have checked the Mace animations. They must be the Mace animations for the flails. Which I do like. So here's the, the mace. I think they are. Yep. Those are the mace animations. Sweet. I actually like those. Yeah, they're pretty easy right now. Some Well, not everything is easy in my game, but... Some enemies are easier than others. And we're also playing on a pretty low difficulty currently, just so I don't have to worry about dying all the time, because I've been dying a lot lately. Like, a lot. Now, for a little bit of lore... With Runa. Oh no! Oh, it's right here. Okay, you can still see it. Okay, well... I need to add Winter Sun to the game still.
I might have to patch this stuff actually, it's kind of in my way. Oh yeah, I don't have the Winter Sun patch for it, so I can't technically pray to her scene yet. Pretty cool though. Guess it's time to add that one. But I appreciate that one, Blue Neptune. What's the flash of light at the end? Oh yeah, that's something I have to get rid of actually. I'm thinking is that that's probably a part of Sekiro combat. Am I wrong about that? It's a part of a combat mod. It's a timed attack thing, I believe. Could even be MCO. But it's something I have been intending getting rid of. We've talked about that in Nico's stream once before. It's funny, I was actually talking about that with myself today. Like, yep, gotta, gotta fix that too. Morning star is going to hurt when running. Oh gosh. What? Wow. Need to be wearing heavy leggings. A flail is a three ball and chain. This isn't a flail? Looks like a flail to me. You would know better than I do though, so... I just work here. <laughs> but I see what you're talking about now. <laughs> Took me a second. Oh, it's a- okay, now I get what you're talking about. I didn't know that was the actual name for him. I can also move the flail to a different spot. Or the morning star, as you're calling them. Wow. <laughs> Just punch for excitement. Sorry. Used to be an adventurer like you. Then I climbed the 7,000 steps with a fail equipped to my knee and it's shredded. Yes. That, that, that knee would be messed up. Dropping knowledge. <laughs> hey, I like learning, so that's cool. You'd have to tell the mod author that, though. I mean, I like learning it, but they're the ones who called it the flail, not me. Always tie that, for sure. What's the one with two balls? <laughs> That's a good question, too. Making the list and checking it twice. Definitely. No, I'm just enjoying the scenery right now. Wow. That's just so good. Actually, I should have waited to come up this direction. Oops. That's not too bad, actually. Gotta be careful around here, I think. There's probably like a spriggan or something. Honestly, the only thing I can think about currently is making that Dragonfly Paraglider mod. I need it. 
Nico has the crow, which I know I could just download and use. But I feel like I need my own. Where'd he go? Did he fall off? Oh, jeez. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Sweet. What crow? Nika Roshi uses a crow paraglider in his Skyrim, which I've used plenty of times. And it was made by Sergei Rudolph. Kicked him right in the flail. <laughs> So much. Interesting, Lena. Sometimes spiked on the end of a chain, fastened to a handle by a rope or length of chain. Hmm. So same thing, basically. <laughs> Natalie, thank you for being here tonight. It's always good to have you. Shot was awesome. I feel like my str one of my strengths would probably be archery. That is for sure. Ooh, yeah, I mean, that was a clean shot. Clear of sight. Seriously, that was the shot from back there that I took. And I don't use auto-aim, so... I kind of want to take that shroud of armor. Wait, it's displaying wrong. Dang it. That means I have to check that in. <laughs> That was a bit, a bit, uh, that just felt weird. That's why I don't, that's why physics in the game, I, I don't know how I feel about those still. Yeah, these are the wrong ones still. No. <laughs> Some yoga posing. Super fun. I really like those in real life. Like recurve is a lot of fun. I have to fix this in body slide though. Should oh, I can't actually show well. I don't want to go fix that actually. Was that the was that black armor? Oh, that's um, that's the shrouded armor. It's actually the wrong armor, but I'm not gonna leave the game to show you what it should look like. This is just the. What's the worn shrouded armor? It's Dark Brotherhood armor. You want to see really cool? Fourth Unknown made it extremely nice looking one. Oh, Twisted Modding? No, that's not right. Who made the original? I thought it was Fourth Unknown. It was Fourth Unknown. That is what it's supposed to look like. Only I also have the red option for it too. That just means I messed something up in body slide. That's the version I'm using, I think. The iconic death one. But it's still fourth unknown who made it. Except for the purple colors. Well, check out Iconic Death's retexture. Recolor, retexture, whatever. You can make it red instead. I think you could even make it all black, actually. They're pretty much everything Fourth Unknown. I highly recommend. Makes you think of Neverwinter Nights. I haven't heard of that one before, RM. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about Flying Fred, sorry. I totally forgot. I've seen that so many times, I just... I, I don't react to it anymore. <laughs> Our 
All right, my girl deserves her paraglider. We've already taken care of the enemies. Why not? What? I was not expecting that. What? Oh, uh oh, bandit trollman. Die, you son of a son of a what? Well, where's your homies at? Because I actually think those guys are gonna go. The trollmen actually annoy the heck out of me. Well, he's stuck on a tree, so good. No, the trollmen are actually really annoying. That's another thing about OBIS I'm not a fan of, personally. Why do they call him Flying Fred when he just falls? They should call him Falling Fred. <laughs> you never expect the guy falling? I always forget about it. Honestly. Jumping so smooth. Jumping with the running animations. Just super on point. Okay, we're making the trek once again. I really need to learn how to preserve my voice at work. Oh! Oops. I should have gone to Ripton for that, actually. I have no idea where that lady is. Preston Garvey, I need you. Please mark it on my map. What werewolf perks do I use? Uh, well, the only mod I use for werewolves currently is Growl. Growl is the one that I like the most. I haven't added anything. I thought about patching Moonlight Tales with it. Uh, I just don't really play werewolves enough, so I'd rather test out Growl first. Lupine? Hmm, okay. As long as I can make it compatible, make it work with Growl, I wouldn't mind checking it out. 20 year old D&D style game, turn based, but you can move freely. In its prime, there are multi-linked mega servers like MMORPGs. Cool, PvP and creator content is crazy. That sounds pretty interesting. Reminds me, I mean, this is completely different, but the game I played growing up was RuneScape. So completely different, obviously. Uh, you're just talking about a 20 year old game and it reminds me you know mmorpg and stuff hey nice a sky shadow monster mod are there ogres yeah i think didn't we hail make ogres i don't remember specific quest mods hmm there's a lot of good quest mods out there. I haven't personally played a whole lot. I recommend a lot of Jay Serpa's expansion mods. If you can expand on the, the vanilla quest, like the vanilla storylines, quests and such, that's what I'm going for first. As far as quest mods the problem i always have with quest mods is i play them once and i never feel inclined to play them again so until i find a quest mod that i like enough to actually replay i, I don't know i'll just stick to vanilla expansions stay on your list yeah j serpa's stuff is so good yeah, Mahalan, once again, Fourth Unknown. Great modder, for sure. Make the path 
you resisting the beast and it focused more on the human. That's quite cool. These gravel have, have any compatibility problems? I don't know. Like I said, I'm still very new to werewolf mods and stuff, so one step at a time, I guess. Forces you to certain points within the other main quests so the story is more integrated. I think someone's working on Skyrim extended cut or something like that. Which might be what you're looking for, Lena. And hello, Dimitri. How you doing? Xbox, you're limited to five gigs, of course. I knew about that a little bit. Game looking pretty. You wind up unable to play bigger quest mods. Yeah. I've heard that. It gets kind of difficult. Sorry, I'm just keeping up with some of the the chat. It a little crazy, so. <laughs> Name's Angie. Hello, Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate. She looks good, but I still head. think she can look. I think there's a better NPC replacer. Which, thank you, Ren. I saw all of the NPC replacers in the Discord, which made me super happy. Those logs are the comfiest, right? Oh no, you're fine. I just apologize if I can't keep up with all the chats. I like to chat. It's probably my favorite thing is how, how crazy the chat is now. You'll just have to forgive me if I can't keep up. That's why I keep the difficulty kind of low. So that I can focus on y'all more. And I'm sorry if my voice cuts out a little bit from time to time. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. It's like true. I said, names very Andy, passionate about it. I love that, Ren. I am very now. passionate about it too. I just have a lot to learn with NPC overhauls. If I can get anywhere close to what Disclo or you have done, I will consider myself happy. I will be I will be happy with even getting somewhere close to that. So I appreciate all of the suggestions. It's awesome. Oh, that was my knuckle. The bell's blessing. Well, I'm gonna use a whole bunch. I'm using Mod Apocalypse as a base currently, but I'm obviously gonna overhaul a ton of them. I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, Daughters I couldn't Malachi stand to be around anyone. Blessing? They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want. What about to Streamlabs? Me. I like Streamlabs. Oh yeah, Not polls this. and stuff are good. I should really uh, get that stuff going with the, the stream elements, bots, and stuff. I should make it a little more interactive, which I'm trying to do. If I had more time to do this, which hopefully in the future I will have more time to focus on streaming maybe not full-time but part-time would be awesome we'll see don't be like them don't feel sorry for me i set up those targets a long time ago i shoot at them from time to time don't yeah, it just kind of gets hard when i boat. work 40 hours a week you know gotta and i gotta focus on my mental health and stuff too so it takes a lot out of me actually streaming so much but i enjoy it too much to ever want to stop which i can't help i can't help but just keep doing this and keep going even if i sacrifice a little bit of sleep it, thankfully it's it was my friday today so i get to stream as long as i want that i am you know how to use one you keep most of our wolf only bones are left there's a lot of good mods that do those like ouch those dynamic things you know Lilson that doesn't sound familiar easy NPC streamlines the whole thing yeah I like NP easy NPC a lot it's just a curse no let's say no not really well let me know if you ever want to practice if you the game need to be immersive, bow. I do too, There's but not. To the left of the door. I like to, the game to be immersive, but not to the point where it's so realistic that you can't focus on the fun parts of Skyrim. I like to jump in and play, and not feel bound by every little 
like needs mod and whatever which i like survival mode but i like it to be very optional i like it to be kind of in the not the it's more in the background in my game but you can tune it to your settings too of course excellent follow me to the targets and we'll begin I will never. I mean, I do push myself sometimes, Fiona. I appreciate that for, sh for my sure. My father though. was rarely home, so it was my. Lately, I've been getting good sleep, so I cannot. I cannot uh, complain whatsoever. Bajan. Oh, Bajan is definitely classic. Bajan Isolda. I mean, the only skin mod I currently use is Tempered Skins, but I still probably go back to BNP skins eventually. The key to I'll take the practice arrows. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Oh, wrong weapon. Okay, let's see what hey, what's up, do. Mark? Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. Oops, I forgot I have something. some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Oops. Thank you. It's always the one time you don't have a moderator, so it's okay. It happens. But somebody in here could easily become a moderator. I don't mind. Drastically reduce. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I'm making somebody here. It always happens when there's no moderators here. They're really smart. So if anybody here wants to become, or wants to help me, let me know. Nice shot, right on target. Now hit the target to the left. Great shot. Now hit the target it, to it the It happens. Right. <laughs> How's it going, Benayad? Sorry if I sound a little uh, rough. That stuff gets a little hey, nice difficult shot. to deal with right sometimes. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Must like bullying random people on the web? Eh. I just try not to let it get to me. I usually try just not to acknowledge it for the most part. But sometimes it's just like, boom, whoa. It always happens when you least expect it, you know? It's actually been quite a while since it has happened, so... Massive dragon. Yeah, sorry everyone. <laughs> That's just stuff you have to put up with, I guess, when it comes to putting yourself out there on the internet in general. I don't think it's specific to any one thing. It can be targeted, but... know how to boot.
You never know. It's been a while since I've made somebody a mod specifically. Always working while listening to the stream. Oh, I don't. I don't mind at all. I'm very selective. I think that's half my problem. Hey, Skyrim. What's up, Kominga? Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. <laughs> Not only am I trying to keep up with chat, I'm also trying to get a paraglider right now. What was what drinks, Jimmy? Just want to watch some Skyrim. Eh, I've seen it happen in loads of streams. I don't think I'm special, trust me. Thought it was you. I don't know. It's funny because I never really talk about it too much. So people just kind of come to their own conclusions. <laughs> okay, well you get the special privilege today if you don't mind helping me anyway. Obsidian Weathers? Yes. Obsidian Weathers is nice. I don't think I've ever liked anything more than Obsidian, personally. Except there's a weird looking seam there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works. Uh-oh. Well, that's odd. What I'm gonna do... Let's just turn this off for now. I'm really interested as to why the paraglider is broken. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I've seen it before, but I honestly can't remember. Hmm. Don't mind you lurking. I don't mind at all, J Man. I'm just trying to like keep mine cool right now, so don't mind me. But I appreciate y'all showing the love and support. If it gets too bad, I mean, I can just end the stream. It's not that big of a deal. I do this for fun, so. Not like I would really want to, though. I don't want to let that kind of thing get to me. So that's why it's like, I'm not going to end the stream for that. <laughs> I kind of forgot why I was even coming to Falkreath in the first place now. Honestly, I got distracted. That's true. But if anybody else wants to be a mod, I know a lot of you hang out here, so... It's hard for me to give it to people, and I don't want to force it on anyone. So... You can reach out to me here or on Discord. Either one works for me. Hopefully the Discord's okay. Uh-oh, another tree with broken nav mesh. I am doing all right, Natalie. 
I'm doing pretty good. I'm hopping around Falk Reef, trying to decide what to do. <laughs> I mean, I moderate. I moderate in channels, but I always make sure that people know, like, I don't always have time to do it, so you can make me a mod, but I can't promise I'll always be there. Which is obviously totally respectable. Nobody's getting paid to doing anything. I'm not getting paid to stream, so. <laughs> if I could pay people though, I totally would. Planning to upgrade the GPU maybe with, oh, a 50 series would be awesome. But at that point I would be better, better off just building a new system altogether. So, I don't think I'll upgrade to a new GPU. I'll probably just upgrade my whole system eventually. But yeah, I appreciate it, Python. Like I said, you, you know my stance on it. It's it's a casual thing, so I just... I appreciate any help, and... Like I said, I don't have a lot of moderators. So, with the growth that we usually get, and how many people are in stream lately, the variables get higher, that's for sure. Didn't even realize they're 50 series cards. I don't think they're out yet. At least as far as I know. You and Discord is anarchy. Oh gosh. Yeah, Discord is, is a strange place. This would be not a good idea. Thought about destroying the table, but can't. Can you destroy the mead barrels? Wait, what did I just break? I broke a table. Oops. See, that's why I don't really like destructible Skyrim. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I wish everything could break. Loading beehive. <laughs> so many of those to fix, actually. This actually looks like a proper cemetery now, which is interesting. Super cool, actually. I like that a lot. Right, who should we speak with in Falkreath first? Mainly, I just want to start the Ursine quest, so wouldn't I speak with the inn person? The innkeeper? The dead man's drink? I don't remember. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Go to a lot of music festivals? Not a lot of music festivals. I've been to a lot of work tours. Well, like four, I think. Four or five. I don't remember. I can go straight to the guy. Ooh. It's just been a long time since I've done these quests. Oh gosh. Uh, but I, I like- I, I go to a lot of concerts still though, honestly. A lot of concerts. Let's see, I think we went to three last year. I don't remember. We're going to see Blink this I year. Really Blink like 182. Careful where you say those words. My wife saw Fallout Boy no, last speak. month. Yeah, we like to go to a lot of music stuff. If I've changed any, no, no level requirements. Do not get to go in Emma too.
Hmm. Isn't dynamic things... Have you looked into the base object swapper oh. version of dynamic things alternative? That might help you out there, Python. Warped Tour. Yeah, Warped Tour is, was like an old music... Well, old. It was cancelled years ago. It was a pretty popular music festival back festival some years ago for alternative music. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. If you want a place to spend the night, let me know. I keep the inn. I'll rent you a room. Here, take a look at this. Here, take a look at this. Oh, some of the Jarl's men and came by and left this bounty letter. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Need something. Keep a song in your heart to ward off the gloom. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar. The if it's a duo Ragnar you seek, stranger, oh, then I interesting suggest NPC. you leave. I am not here to fulfill your desire the or pain. Swagger and oh, is it because I'm a lord? Never been to like a proper concert? Oh, I don't even know how many concerts I've been to. It's a lot. Concerts, real lower wave base. I like the outdoor stuff. If you've ever been to like the Gorge in Washington, that's a really cool location to go see music. Amphitheaters are really cool. Oh, geez, J Man, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Wow. That is so kind of you. Congratulations, everyone who got the, the memberships. Which is a lot of you. Oh gosh, now I get to hear way, 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 way every 10 times. <laughs> I wish y'all could hear it. That's the only thing I wish. But yeah, thank you so much, Jay, man. That's, that's awesome. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm looking at a bunch of people here who usually are here that got the memberships. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like the uh, the emojis. Those are fun. Gosh, I wish you could hear it. It's so cute. I love I love uh, red verb. I'm trying to remember. I think it's this way. I wish it wasn't so gloomy here, but it does fit Falkreath. I feel so Skyrim dumb lately. Burb. <laughs> Cute burb. What's up, John? Longer wave flakes, low bass and echoes. What's my favorite? My favorite emoji? Oh, that's a hard choice. The Skuma one is probably my favorite. It's the silliest. <laughs> it is kind of hard to... Uh, decipher words sometimes, but I think I've get gotten pretty good at it actually like the pepe yeah the pepe is pretty funny looking for that what is that thing called I thought it was right around here. Maybe it was an Iverstead. I'm just a silly. There's 
like climbing mountains. Don't mind me. Okay, I don't mind exploring Fall Faith at all. I never really get a chance to really check out every little detail, so I take as much time as I can. What do you I want? I told Raven Rock. That's where that potion goes. It's probably too late now, though. Very well. Oh. It is through the ebb and the hair is glowing. Tide. Hello, my child. Just interrupting. Okay. Sorry. May the spirit of Lavinia and mm -mm, all sorry. those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Just remember us. I will remember all of you. I don't know why anybody thinks that we'll get crazy enough that I won't remember people. Interrupting funeral shot. Boost is responsible Oops. for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. Oh, merciful Arcane, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Everyone have Bruce dinner? My think it's spaghetti? He helps me tend I haven't had dinner yet, keep actually. Our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Get pie for lunch? Pie is delicious. I'm so sorry. Burying the past is much harder than burying remains. Please spend as much time. Pistachio as crusted you. salmon. Now that we sounds delicious with veggies. Make me hungry. I would eat that right now. Yeah, definitely chef status right there. Sounds like some stuff that would be on our menu where I used to work. Banana and strawberry yogurt. I really need to eat something after stream, probably. I just never know what to eat anymore. I like rice lately. Anything with rice, I'm a big fan of. <laughs> one million subscribers coming soon? Holy moly. I could not even imagine one, one million subscribers. My brain, it would explode. But that would be pretty sweet. How many mods currently? Almost 1100 at the moment. 1071. Fine chopped garlic with crushed pistachio. Yeah, that sounds super delicious. I'm getting artifacting a little bit actually. Plain old meat pie. For some reason, when I think pie, I think since I'm an American, I think like dessert for some reason. Go this way, right? Naughty. <laughs> Chicken, beef, shrimp, turkey with Italian sausage, stroganoff. Wow, that sounds sounds pretty good too, actually. Savory or sweet? That's true. That's true. It's just I think my American brain instantly goes to like pecan pie, you know. I kind of just forget that meat pie exists, I suppose.
forget that, you know, it's considered like shepherd's pie, you know? I just confused him. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Pecan pie for Marie Callender? Classic. Why'd you turn around? Uh oh, I missed. Oh, that was a good shot. Her scene would be proud. Pizza pie, of course, the pizza pie. How can I forget? The texture? Oh no, texture is what it's all about. Poor bear. The bear tried to kill me. I guess I did kind of cheese a little bit, but... I feel like I'm gonna get pretty good with that, actually. Let's see if I can give this guy a real fight. Plea or pray, none of it will matter soon. Oh, I have to grab Draugr MCO. I keep forgetting about that. Ideal food texture, crunchy. Crunchy is where it's at. And poise. Poise is probably gonna make a return too. Pretty good. Makes a bird good, has layers complexity. Yeah. You always gotta make sure the lettuce is on the bottom. Toppings. I like crunchy stuff on the topping, like or grilled onions, fried onions. I like a lot of good stuff in my burger. It really doesn't matter. I'm not too picky. Yeah, crunchy peanut butter is where it's at. I love crunchy peanut butter. I mean, I'll eat, I eat creamy pe peanut butter for the most part, but crunchy peanut butter is, is definitely underrated in my opinion. peanut butter on a burger? I've actually heard that's good, but I don't know if I'd ever like it, honestly. I, but I, I've heard things. Nice. I like that you can see the stuff inside. We got the coin. Peanut allergy? Oh no! I mean, there's still. I feel like there are probably substitutes out there, maybe. Sekiro is so cool. The difference between a sandwich and a burger? Fair point. That's a fair point. I don't think there is much of a difference. A burger is more complex. Usually, a burger is a specific thing, you know. It's got a, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with some sort of explanation here <laughs> on the fly. I wonder if I died with before I saved file lines. I don't know. Let's put this back on this. TV, peanut butter, banana slices, that sounds good. That or apple slices. I like apples and peanut butter and honey. Pickles and a burger. Like the cherry on top of the cake. I'm I'm kinda iffy about the pickles. It depends on the pickle. They're sending books now.
bit of tamari and salt tops toasted. Yeah, it sounds really good. You must be a chef, RM. Hey, what's up, Michael? Late due to watching movies with your kids. Well, that's awesome, though. What kind of movies were you watching? Long on top, chef. Tamari is... Tamari. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. It's been a long day. Tamari. I've used it a lot. It's been a long time since I've used Tamari, honestly. It's just a spice, though, right? Are you sleepy? I'm surprised I'm so sleepy right now, actually. Ready Player One. This Peregrine's home for peculiar children. Nice. So soy sauce. That's that's what it is. Soy sauce is like I use tamari. That tells you how sleepy I am. I use tamari soy sauce. That's funny. Hey, isn't it lower sodium too? Wasabi. I love wasabi. I'm thinking of Five Spice or I'm thinking of Nori Flakes for some reason. I don't know why I'm thinking of Nori Flakes. Apples with caramel. Yeah, sounds good. Tamarind. The soy sauce is what's up. Wait, why? what's going on with the FPS in here? We have an issue. I'm assuming we have a Lux issue in here. First thing I check. That is interesting. To me, I feel like it's, it has something to do with like an occlusion plane issue. I would say so. What? See? Now it's solid 60. I wonder if that was like a Lux bug or something. I'll have to check my patches again. Super strange. Are you craving ramen? Right. Makes me love ramen that much more. We do talk about food here a lot, honestly, so apologies for that. What oh, she would look like with that helmet on. We trick guests on though, giving them wasabi, telling them it's avocado. That's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's diabolical. I love it. Look forward to seeing you listen to Lava. Yeah, I'm trying. I mean, I really, really need to. I have goals I'm focusing on now. I've refocused my goals a little bit and I'm ready to just get this thing out there for people, but not rush it either. Yeah, Michael with the five dollars. Thank you so much for that. That's so kind of you. Wow. Keep it up. I love that. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, J-Man, I'm really trying to make it good. After watching Biggie make Laura Rim, I wouldn't say I'm nervous, but I'm also... I feel like I have a lot, to, a lot of expectations for myself now with this list after watching him make his list mm, we're not alone. Your destiny is sealed. 
Where's the vampire's thrall? Uh oh. Not good. Yeah, with poise, this would be much more difficult. Oh, he is so scary. Now he's gonna kick my butt. Look at that guy, he's so menacing. Oh, I think I woke the, the hive too. Oh, I'm dead. To the next fight. To be honest, I should not be attempting this right now. Holy moly. But thank you. I appreciate that. I do appreciate it. Starting tonight. Nice, RM. I'm trying to do it more. Now that 1.4 is out, I'm going to try to make my play through much more of a long play. She could eat video game or even cartoon food sometimes, right? Some of that cartoon, like Scooby-Doo food. Sounds good. Oh, I forgot the paraglider was broken. I really want to go fix that, but we haven't had a crash today, so... I'm just enjoying playing. I just don't know why the paraglider would be broken. I could totally go fix it. Those jumps. The platforming. Finally got your stables at 106 mods. Hey, that's a good start. That's a really good start. Don't know how to patch, etc. I'm learning as I go with a lot of patching. I feel like I'm I think I'm I have the knowledge and I'm smart enough to understand. You know how to do all that stuff. Or at least how to apply the things possibly, or how to apply the things properly. And how to read. I know how to read. Yay, I can read. You don't think for the paraglider? You're the moderator. <laughs> the moderator's the one who posts the links. No, I'm just kidding. If you just go on the Nexus and type in paraglider, you'll find it. On my phone? Am I on my phone? No. Can't find it? You should just type paraglider into the Nexus and you'll find it. Are you talking to Amali, aren't you? Yeah, JK Skyrim is really compatible with a lot of things. The Northern Roads, I'll pass on that one too. I like simplest roads, blended roads. Better compatibility. Doesn't look as good, I think. Northern Roads might look better. I don't know, I like this roads a lot. Like the bumpiness and stuff, so it's hard to say. Plus the tiling isn't super apparent, which I do like too. Don't cause clipping. Here's mostly NPC over fallen trees. I use all of JK's interiors, all of JK's exteriors for the most part. And actually I, I am swapping a lot of interiors for Rins personally. Or currently I am. Like my HUD layout? Oh, well, thank you. I did that all custom. It was a pain in the butt. A huge pain in the butt. Loki or Shad? It depends on if you're using all. It depends on if you're using Anniversary Edition. Here, I'm gonna leave my game really quick, actually. We've been playing for four hours. Actually, I'm not gonna leave the game. I really wanna fix my paraglider, though. You need both of them, technically. So Loki made the original one for SE 1.5. 
And then if you're on Anniversary Edition, you need the original. This is just a DLL update from Shad. Which, you, like I said, you need on top of it. Which hasn't been updated for 1170. Interesting. Probably still works, though. Dragonfly Paraglider, you love to get together with flying. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'd love to do that too. HS interiors? I've never heard of HS interiors actually. Strike out the lanterns of mine. I don't know. The invisible paraglider is gonna bug me. Axis 1211. Amplets and some of the other Thane dem mods. I've never heard of those ones either. I, I only know so many mods. I feel like even knowing a thousand mods is, is kind of crazy. And I still know so many more. really strange. Sorry. Ooh, what the heck? I love the green. Follow the headless horseman. I don't know where he went now. He gone. It's actually really eerie. Oh my gosh. Where's he going? What is he doing? I don't know. He's plotting something. He's taking me to Sleepy Hollow. Oh, a copy. That's a good idea. Yeah, having a copy saved. That's really smart, actually. 3,000 mods saved in your archive. That's, that's not a bad thing. You probably have mods that don't exist anymore on the Nexus, which is super cool. He, he up and disappeared. I don't know where he went. Too many to count after all these years. But if you've been in the game for a long time, you probably have a ton of mods. Okay, I have to fix the paraglider at least. But four hours without a crash is actually really nice. I'll take it. 1187 light plugins, nice. Yeah, my plugins aren't even. I haven't even cracked a thousand plugins yet. Oh gosh, Legacy of the Dragonborn patches, that's why. <laughs> Okay, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just reinstall the mod, honestly, but right now I'm going to have a little fun. But I'm going to make my own and upload it to the Nexus for the list. Because I know how to make my own paragliders. Let's 
secret tunnel. Did I go too far? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Secret tunnel. Uh oh, what's this? Double jump. Oh, oh, that's easy. Oh, I hate That's just a screenshot. The only other thing I need to check. Right there, okay. I still have it. So I can reinstall it if I need to. Uh oh. Too many mods. Or not enough mods. Well, let's see if that works. We've not made any patches. You just move files around where you need to make IFD Lydia work, basically. You make a hybrid something together. Well, X said it is still kind of scary to me, but I wouldn't say that I'm scared of it. Because I want to learn it. And, well, I want to learn it well. For this list specifically, I want to get good at SSC edit. Because it's a really important tool for us modders. We need to know how to use it properly. Especially if you're going to, you know, release a lava. I still am thinking about renaming... Renaming the list. The lava shot just stuck. <laughs> Yeah, the paraglider. You need to know how to use Nemesis, basically. If you know how to use Nemesis, then you could run the paraglider just fine. Yeah, SSC edit is pretty easy. I just need to get more comfortable with it, I suppose. Above all things. Oh yeah, Nemesis is super easy. Nice title screen. That's just one of them. Exit is a must. I know this was a really dumb thing to do, but I do want to test some of the main menus here. There's one in spe there's one specifically I'm looking for, so I'm not gonna exit it more, but I just want to show that they're random because Walter likes the title screen so like SSC edit way more than CK I like them both honestly I think I will enjoy SSC edit more when I learn it more but the CK I know better than SSC edit now and I like moving trees around it's fun <laughs> but I totally agree if you're not using X edit for a lava jack I'd say you're probably in trouble. Not in trouble, I just I feel like that's that's gonna result in a not so good list. Which is what I'm I, that's exactly what I want to avoid. So that's why SSE Edit is my friend. <laughs> Should learn how to use the CK. CK is not too hard, honestly. Don't be afraid to patch? Yeah, no, I can't be afraid to patch. 
I'm not allowed to be afraid. See, this is a different one, Walter. I still want to see my Nordic woman. <laughs> not getting cells as hell. Oh, I bet. I bet. This is not finis. Oh, my unknown quantity. Well, it uses fin It makes a finis dummy plugin. Nav meshes. Oh, nav meshes is something I'm not sure about either. I would learn it just because everybody else seems to not like it, but still. <laughs> Please tell me my paraglider works now. No, what is going on? I have to re That's a strange thing I've never seen before. That is a bug I have never seen. I might have to just reinstall. Probably gonna have to check it out and X edit. Did you just finish? Did you just finish? No. I don't think we can anyway. It's just something I've never experienced. Just makes me wonder what's conflicting with the paraglider. Just make your own. What's up, Nautical? How you doing? Come along, no more stops. We need to find out. I might have to rerun you. Nemesis, actually. Even going to a wedding this far I might have to rerun Nemesis. I know this sounds weird. But I think I have to rerun Nemesis. And I have to do it this way too, because it's been a long time since I've done this. And I don't like doing this because it's hard. Well, that's not hard doing this, but uh, it's hard. It's sometimes hard to remember which ones I have. Answer is yes. <laughs> I still don't think this is going to fix it, but I'm curious. And you'll have to hear me out on this one. Make sure I have the retimed hit frame. Hmm. Up to bed, it's almost midnight. Hey, thank you so much, J-Man. And once again, thank you so much for the donation. That was so nice of you. Have yourself a wonderful sleep. Nope, okay. I just had to check one mod really quick. I think that's everything. This sounds kind of weird that I would have to run Nemesis. But I was using a mod previously called... Well, it's a, it was the first person paraglider fix. Or the first person paraglider patch. And I actually uninstalled that. But I don't think I ever reran Nemesis afterwards. So I just wanted to check that. Make a real D&D game for four or five people? From what you hear... From here you'll invest? Okay. Remove and reboot. Might remake? Yeah. I might... I mean, I'd hate to remove Paraglider and stuff. I think it's it'd be something that's conflicting with Paraglider if this isn't it. Which means I'd have to look in through X-Edit, probably, at the very least.
But this is far as I'll test it tonight. Thankfully, I'm off work tomorrow, so I have a lot of time to test things in the morning. Also, a lot of time to hopefully work on the dang Discord a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for all the anime suggestions, by the way. Okay, fingers crossed. Hopefully this works. Yeah, Finnis was replaced by Nemesis. And now they're talking about Pandora, which is interesting. And I don't know. Hopefully Pandora makes it over to the Nexus. I don't think it will. Respect to the tech skills. Oops, did I not? I forgot I did not click on that. Why not? Why not what? Why not switch to Pandora? Because I know Nemesis really well. <laughs> Pandora got replaced by Spotify. You know what's funny? I don't even use Spotify. Honestly, I might switch to Spotify, but YouTube, YouTube music is kind of iffy. I feel like the problem with YouTube YouTube music is the inconsistency in like sound between songs, you know? Spotify is pretty good. Human animations. Finnis had human and monster. It's micromanaged by one dude who doesn't mod anymore. Exactly. Well, in Pandora, I've heard a lot of good things about Pandora. It has creature support too. It's probably going to be a smart move to switch. It's on GitHub right now, which I think you could actually whitelist. So. Or have whitelisted. Like it is constant ads. Well, if you pay for it, you probably won't get constant ads, right? What's up, Yamazi? GitHub is gold's mods goldmine. It's true. It really is. A lot of good stuff out there. Please work. Yes. Problem solver. Look at me go. Oh, I failed. Oops. Negative 20 XP. I deserve that. I deserved it. Can I get Tariel's Gale? I do, but I have to immersively read it. I don't just get to eat books anymore. This one takes seven hours. Ugh. Music on YouTube with an ad blocker? Yeah, fair enough. That works too, right? Hey, YouTube music on YouTube is good, honestly. I don't mind using YouTube Premium myself. Nemesis is a lot better in my opinion. But you know, if you get it's the same thing. If you get stuck on something you like, there's no no problem with that, of course. Yeah, we needed some some moderation help earlier. So I do appreciate Python for for um I can't think of the word. For offering to help. 
I'm always very appreciative of the help just in case, you know? So, more mods, more better. But just remember, I'm the ultimate mod. Oop. Compiling takes forever? Oof. That's why I want to make sure it's worth it the first time. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I'll, I'll get you like a fish. Mm, no. And I guess that's your last request. Fool. Oh, I had the wrong weapon out. All over now. <laughs> I deserve that. I had the wrong weapon out. Once again, deserved. That was just lack of preparation. <laughs> no, you did not see a neck seam on the Argonians. That did not exist, I swear. Cheered my attitude. You did, Blue Neptune. You did. Which I definitely appreciate very much. Very glad you. That's what I was doing. So yeah, something with the the mod that I had removed. I'm not gonna lie to you, I missed the I missed the crow. Oh, no, Magica. That's just a magical moment right there. Beautiful. You know what make this walk even better? Coffee. You don't have the info of Discord, Nexus page, etc. Uh, Nexus page. I don't have any like links for a Nexus page or anything like that. But we do have commands for moderators to use. Like Discord is one of them. I feel like I made one for... I think I made promote. Like exclamation point promote. There's quite a few ones. You know, if you, if you end up moderating a few times, I'm sure you'll learn a few of the the commands that we have. Like I said, pretty much all of them are for moderators only, currently. Ah, thank you, Lenata. We meet again. I'm a giant bear. Hello, giant bear. I don't know, we need some diverse bears. All of them should not be this massive. It's probably where Animalica comes into play. Check description. Yeah, the description's a good place to look for Discord and like load order library and stuff. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I was doing so good earlier, too. Yeah, Bears of the North is crazy. I like Bears of the North, but they're a little... unrealistic. Almost. I like them. Like I said, I just want them to be more diverse. So they're not all massive, massive bars. 
Okay, well, I fixed the crow. That's all I care about. <laughs> what a pity. Wait, does that mean what a pretty? Have something special for those road thieves like Dwarven Grenade or what? Labor spare no Yes. That's another thing, too. I've been thinking about that one a lot lately, too. Like, gosh, I've been hearing the same bear noises constantly. It's so annoying. But I do appreciate the last minute, once again, thing. The last minute thing again, Python. Of course. Like I tell every person that moderates my chat, it's... it's no pressure. It's the same way I carry out in other moderating chats when I'm doing it for others, you know? Yeah, this yeah the two second audio clip. I wonder if that uses a sound uh, record distributor. It's also immersive sounds compendium too. Predictability, yeah, exactly. Fall into the pattern again. I yeah, know that's not ever good. Reminds me of the wall by Pink Floyd. Specifically, when the part when the wall surrounds him. Or for example, the album is a perfect loop because at the end of Outside the Wall, it perfectly loops into the beginning of the album again. Same thing with the album Circles by Mac Miller. It ends on an unresolved note, but it begin the album begins on a resolved note, so it's a perfect loop. 1978, I was very young. Uh, I wasn't even a thing. <laughs> I was not even in, in the picture. My parents weren't even old enough to be parents. <laughs> I did 78 shot. That's close enough. Never should have come here. Wait, what? Oh gosh, I did not know that they were the vamps. It's true, Michael. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm safe here. Someone do something. I'm saying help. Where did the fuck go? Okay, we'll stay here. That's fine. Before you say anything, yes, Lux does this. 
It's very dark, I know. But I like that it's almost completely lit by the red chasm. Well, lack of lighting, of course, but it's still cool. Welcome to the red chasm. Something out of the dark web. Need something? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I mean, I can just turn the lights on. But that makes it look less cool in here. Also, worst room ever. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It's like a knife in the post. I give this room like a 2 out of 10. Quote, the world hangs but by a thread. Push but a little and... I love Lord of the Rings. Every time I play Skyrim, I just want to watch Lord of the Rings too. They're going crazy today. Would I rather play Skyrim or watch Lord of the Rings? That's actually a really, really difficult choice. Could I still read the books? <laughs> no, I've, I guess it's not a would, would you rather. Uh... To be honest with you, I'd almost rather watch Lord of the Rings. That's that's really hard for me to say that because I love Elder Scrolls, I love Skyrim. I don't know. Tough choice. I love Lord of the Rings so much. I love them both so much I don't know how to choose. But if you could only do one forever, play Skyrim. Does it- can it be modded Skyrim? If it's vanilla Skyrim, I'd rather just play- I'd rather just watch Lord of the Rings. Eternal rest. If I could have modded Skyrim? I was gonna say no. If I could have modded Skyrim, nothing beats modded Skyrim. Cause I could just have Lord of the Rings in Skyrim. If I tried hard enough. Not really, but I could- I could make it feel like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you could have things like the Shire and stuff already in Skyrim, so... Ah, oh, crap. Now they both want to fight? Win-win! Just don't hit the, the mammoth. Did I get the XP? No, I didn't. Damn it. Hey, what's up, Biggie? How you doing tonight? Love the Fallout 4 stream, by the way. Making me everybody's making me want to play Fallout lately. You okay? I'm feeling okay as well. Skyrim and good people are helping. Already got orcs true. Yeah, we're talking about Lord of the Rings. In Skyrim currently. I feel like it's an e- they have a lot of differences obviously but I feel like they get so easily compared with one another. So you need to go sit with him so you must leave? Okay have a good night Michael. Thank you once again for the donation. It was very wonderful of you. Have a 
beautiful night. Fallout? Oh yeah. Life in the Ruins looks really fun. Although I might be more interested in like Magnum Opus. I don't know. Our choice with Fallout because I'm so addicted to Skyrim. Every time I see guns now I'm like, eh, that's not a bow and arrow. The real Shire is in Northern California. At Oregon border. Oregon border? I have no idea. Played a bit of life in the ruins, it's good. Yeah, Ren suggested, I think, Magnum Opus. I think that's what it's called. I keep forgetting it. I just need to go in lava and check it out. Guns in Skyrim? Well, they do exist, but I will pass. No guns in my Skyrim. Game of Thrones. You think Skyrim gets compared more to Game of Thrones? Yeah, I guess what that makes a lot of sense too, actually. Or Hearth would be Gondor. He's sophisticated, but he needs a bow. I mean, the bow is just too good. Or a katana? Come on. I'm just gonna stay out of this one, actually. It's like, where's my paraglider now? I'm actually excited. I don't think I'm gonna make the dragonfly anytime soon. I'm just glad I found that, that model so I can make my own paraglider. Just imagine, giant dragonfly paraglider. IGN. Oh yeah, IGN reviews are not notorious. I can't speak today. IGN reviews are notoriously terrible. <laughs> I can't speak worth a damn. Or zones assault attack has cannons. Cannons? My poor jumps are still broken. Hacks! <laughs> Favorite Skyrim city. I mean, I like Riften, even though it's pretty terrible okay favorite skyrim does it count as a city falkreath of course i was gonna say it should count i would say falkreath just based off of how pretty it is although it's not the it's hard because all the towns aren't really great solitude is good You know, like, Fall they all have these... It's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, Windhelm is cold and extremely racist. Falkreath is, is centered around death. But still, I like Falkreath a lot. I'm going based off of beauty. So, like, Riften, Whiterun, the Tundra. But if I had to choose a city, probably Solitude, honestly. I think Solitude is the prettiest and the most well-maintained, although not really a fan of the Imperials, so once again. It becomes a huge issue. I don't know. Yeah, Falkreath. Big bonus. Yeah, the danger quests. Favorite place in Skyrim? Ooh, favorite place in Skyrim? The Tundra. I don't know, I just love exploring the grass fields and hunting. 
there's something really peaceful about Riverwood, just the tundra area in general, Lake Illinalta. The Soul Cairn, hell yeah. That's a that's that's a way more interesting choice than the tundra. It's hard. I have a lot of favorite places though. Your bed? Yeah, that's a good one too, Fiona. You hate Windhelm? I'm just not really a fan of Windhelm, honestly. I would never want to actually go there in real life, to be honest with you. Cold Harbor? Just waiting for someone to- I mean, Black Rage is an awesome place. It's really pretty. Probably looks really cool without the EMB lighting and stuff too. Windhelm is kind of like the Bronx. Never been to New York, so I wouldn't know. Did I mod Black Rage? Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Die, damn you! Ooh. Who died? You died? I think we can COC there. I just forget how to COC to Black Reach. Serial kill. There is. That's true. There is. Wants to murder me. Yeah, there's. It's cold, it's racist, and there are murderers. Why would I ever want to go to Windhelm? Is Earth 400 million years ago? Riften becomes your favorite. Hey, Riften's alright. I do like the city. Kinda like, I really love Magnagora Sprouts. Statues. Against cats and Dunmer and Argonians. Pretty much anybody who isn't a Nord. But also, I think it's only a select few people there, honestly. Hey look, I made it back to Solitude. Should we go through the Morthal Swamps before we go to Blackreach? I'll have to find the COC for Blackreach though. Yeah, it's been years. Yeah, they're they're not too nice over there. Is that a raft? And we're in the water. Great. Stuck in freezing cold. Yeah, I, that just does not sound fun. What? The f- Huh? But why? What why? This is why I'm not too sure about Skyrim fairies. It's a fun mod, but eh, I, I don't know. Some of the things are a little silly. I like it, though. Like, it's silly, but I like it. Yeah, for survival, for sure. It's just funny, this giant raft. And all it does is go back and forth, you know? Yeah, Skyrim Fairies. That's what that one's called. It adds a bunch of them. Sorry, this is like my favorite area. 
of all time. I guess lately. Just because of how cool it looks. Oh, thank you, Darnell. Oh, it's an easy Black Rage Origin? Hell yeah. I can remember that. It's not spooky enough, though. Now it's spooky enough. It's not dark enough, though. Vibe. <laughs> Silent Hill with all the sounds and stuff. Would love the effort lights at night. I would. It's creepy, but it's it's really pretty. Hauntingly beautiful. <laughs> it definitely needs to be much foggier though. Yeah, none of these are what I'm looking for. It doesn't need to be, I just want to see what it looks like, you know? Yeah, this would be so creepy. Now just imagine a bunch of spiders everywhere. A bunch of little ones. No, I actually don't like spiders, but... I actually managed to make it to the North Hall, though. I wanted to see it dark though, so we could see all the E and B death bells and stuff. Fishing the glades. Gators can feel you coming. Yeah, on second thought, I don't know if I'll like that place. Worth? I've never heard of that one. The darkness is real. It is a little dark. I like the darkness, though. How's this? Creepy. It's just, it's nature of the wildlands that brings it all together. Honestly. That's what sets most other tree mods apart from, or just most other Morthal swamps apart. I really, really like Nature of the Wildlands. Specifically here, of all places. You look good over in the beach, though, too. Love obsidian weathers. You never go wrong with obsidian weathers. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Cool music? Thank you. I like the lo-fi. The lo-fi vibes are good. Although I did want to experiment with some more upbeat stuff. Not like EDM or anything, just some other synth stuff, I guess. Oh, it's a Charis. Can I take the Charis? I don't know, he'll probably poison me. Terrible shot. No, not the bunny. It's a good shot almost. Oh, nice. Skill shot. Not a skill shot. Operatic death metal. I think I'll pass. <laughs> as much as I like death metal music. I think I'll pass. I don't know if it fits the vibe. <laughs> Scream out but all high notes? Oh gosh. I'm trying to think of an example because I'm sure there's a band out there who does that. I don't know why Knocked Loose is the first band that comes to my head. But Doom Ambient? See, that's kind of that's kind of something I'd have to look into. I do like the Doom vibes. It kind of gives those 80s, I don't know, I like, you know, Biggie has some music that I like. It's been playing recently, but it's not quite what I'm looking for either. Oh, hello. Didn't see ya. Don't mind if I just swim in the water. Nice kitty. Did you jump a little? <laughs> I probably would have reacted much better, you know, 10 hours ago. What's up, Gears? Doing pretty good. How about you? Nice to see some moderators in the chat. That's all I gotta say. Makes me feel good. I'm sorry, though, Yamazi. Definitely wasn't intentional. Yeah, heavy for Skyrim, for sure. Agreed, Python. I think he pulls it off with that, that certain sound. Doom Ambient. Very interesting combo, actually. The Wreck of the Brine Hammer. You enjoy jump scares? They make you feel something? Make me feel alive. They make me feel alive. Talk about music for the mod list? You were you were getting spaghetti? Yeah, we're talking about well, we're just talking about stream music, I think. In general. Hello, Mr. Krabs. Many, 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 many. I'm scared. I can't believe we've been streaming for almost five hours. If I didn't need the game, I could say we've been streaming for five hours without a crash. But that's not the case. Four hours. Before I left the game. To pick something. With the music, you like the lo-fi? Skyrim Zelda energy, yeah. Well, I'm just expanding on the lo-fi mix currently. 
but I do want to hopefully didn't hear that sorry I had to clear my throat um yeah I'm just expanding on the lo-fi mix but I'll I'll change it up I'll have different mixes just depending on how I feel ow masochism is your middle name I kind of feel that on a certain level though too speaking of Zelda doom or other heavy metal yeah I like doom for the sake of I really like metal so it would be my vibe too there's some really cool pop punk lo-fi mixes I want to see if I can get I mean it's a long shot but if I could reach out to the creators who made the music see if I could use it that would be so cool <laughs> we have options now I guess I don't know, I kind of feel like the purple dragon and and the red gear stare have become sort of iconic in the streams. Which is funny because I never liked those emojis until you know, gear started using them. Those specific ones. <laughs> They've grown on me. Oh. Like, what? Stendar's hammer? What? How did I not know that was there? Excuse me? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what the hell did I just pick up? Look at the carry weight on it. What is this? Who threw that? I don't think it got thrown away. I'm actually the god of thunder now. A gift. Dude, it's a thousand carry weight. It's not what where did this come from? You think I would? No, but I've never seen this. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, no, that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> Okay, I know exactly where it came from. I mean, that's awesome. If you can manage to have a thousand carry weight, keep it. You're now the god of thunder. <laughs> Bonk. I feel like this would be a good weapon for Harley Quinn. Bonk. I mean, how how lucky do you have to be to find something like that? Oh. No, come back. I mean, what am I going to do with it? I lost it. <laughs> Oops. I done lost it. I think it's... Oh, there it is. So you get stuck in the falling position? What what jump glitch are we talking about?
weighing me down too much. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a loophole. Aw, oh, what? Oh, dang it. I'm tired of the camera. Unfortunately, I'm too far away. I cannot get it to Skilgerfell. Oh! What the f <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm crying. That's so funny. What the hell? I don't know if that can stay, but at the same time, I want to leave it because it's so funny. Oh gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> The biggest debunk. <laughs> Second channel win. Oh, if only you knew, Yamazi. If only you knew. <laughs> Four. Four. Oh my gosh, that's... No words. Do you really want some of this? Time to show. Porker. Porker golf. <laughs> ruthless. Just absolutely ruthless. <laughs> Y'all are just gonna kill me tonight. This is so funny. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> space worker. Yeah, I still don't know about that one. <laughs> What cheat mod is this? No, it's it's actually Maro Loot. Maro Loot Ultimate adds that, which is so silly. Which is why I'm laughing about it. But I might have to just not keep that in the game. But I mean, if you want to use it, good luck. It's a thousand carry weight. That's why I'm considering keeping it. Sends you right to it. Not something I expected to be added from Maro Loot ultimately. Uh, Maro Loot Ultimate. I guess I should have expected it though, honestly. Not enough Magicka. Never used Maro loot. That's pretty cool. If you die, game is over. Oh, do you play like Requiem then? Blue Neptune? 
Please. Please. I need more magicka. Aww. Jump. Fly. Aww, I'm stuck out in the middle of the water now. Thanks, bird. Oh, it's because... Uh, well, you know what? Can you use open world loot with moral loot? Can you really? I didn't know you could use them both together. Well, maybe I'll have to use them both together. I think once I get more confident with Requiem, I would like to do some permadeath runs. There's a patch? I love patches. Bunny. Saw that bunny. Builder game, never follow game story. Fair enough. Too many mods you need patched. I mean, Marl Loot has a lot of patches made already. Uh, but I can understand a few things, you know. Ooh, I sure. Hey, I'm glad you found me too, Blue Neptune. Should be a synthesis patch. Yeah, there's a synthesis patcher for it, yes. I'm still kind of learning the synthesis ropes, too. I never bothered with Rybash, though. Once again, though, the beauty is... Well, there's probably plenty of tutorials out there for questions that I have. You don't use Marlou, but you've seen it. I think it's cool, and it pairs well with Skyrim. Was it Skyrim Unleveled? I think it's pretty cool. Comes with its quirks, obviously. There it is. Another sky shard. Probably next to a saber cat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn, you're fluffy looking. No! Nice kitty. Good kitty. There's my house. Hey, this is my house. I'll defend it too. Oh, it's the crab. <laughs> Look at my pretty house. See food pets and suggest mods? Yeah, thank you, Yamazi. And thank you, Gears. 
trying to make the Discord more of a fun place. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have time to fix the roles. I want everyone to be able to have uh, customizable roles. Well, you know what I mean. I want you to be able to choose your roles. I'll give everybody options. Ah, home sweet home. I break the table? Wah! Break the table. I can break the chair. I break this chair? No. I break this chair? Hey, I can break that chair. <laughs> what about this chair? Just breaking chairs in my house. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just too funny to me. This is what happens when you come home drinking skooma. The skooma hasn't quite worn off yet. Getting a little aggressive. With chairs. I wonder if they're going to be forever broken. I just wish I could break everything. But this table! Nope. Still going? Yeah. Welcome back, Anzac. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's that's destructible Skyrim. There's the base object swapper version that I'm messing with currently. And you're here now. Yeah, good to have you here. Gears. Into the shadows. It's good to have you all here. Break the weapon racks? No. <laughs> Just like, what can I break? Just reminds me of that Limp Biscuit song. Just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. <laughs> it is a party. It's been going strong. I think most of the night, actually, which is super awesome and super just unbelievable in general. Give me some break. Yep. <laughs> oh, John. a baby up in here. It's okay. I'm having fun. Damn phones and they're autocorrect. What's the point? These guys are probably going to be pretty strong. Oh yeah, this guy- oh, actually. We're worried about the arrows. Nice boots you got there. No! Not my boots! Oh, I'm so dead! You're a disgrace to your own so much easier to run when you're dead! Can't hide from me.
Dang it, I was trying to dodge that too. Oh, dang it. How to get Nico's crow then? It's a secret. <laughs> I deserve that. I totally deserved it. And that snipers are crazy. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not really a secret, it's just it's in a weird spot. I just heard Navi. What if I'm aiming too high? Nope. Well, actually, I am. Really want to hit this guy. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! What? Come on, give me the kill cam. All of those shots are hitting. Skyrim Sasa. I'm almost out of arrows. He missed my shots. Unfortunately, that's the case. <laughs> Wait, is he dead? I think he is. Oh my gosh, I did get him. Salmon, green beans, and rice since... Oh yeah, the rice is... You gotta have the rice. Sorry, I wanted a second chance. Let's see if I can do this. Alright. No HUD. No crosshair. That was actually extremely close. There's two. That was actually close. What the hell? Ah, oh, you you moved. Why you gotta move? Oh! Oh my gosh, that was a good shot too. Human rice. Human rice is probably pretty good actually. If you get this kill, never mind. <laughs> Can we clip that? Sure, if you want to. I actually feel like I'm better without a crosshair for the most part. Oh, I shot at a salmon.
Not the salmon. Oops, I made a huge mistake. What the hell? Real. It's actually easier. I don't know why. It's easier to focus on the target that way. Oh, that was my last arrow. No HUD. You. <laughs> Natural bowmanship. Well, thanks, Python. Holding up hope ward. Yeah, like that's gonna do anything. Maybe I just don't need to use the heads-up display at all anymore. I'm more aware of my surroundings without it. I can take you. Let's see it. Nice try. No bolts. What is this? <laughs> I actually feel like I'm playing an RPG a little bit with all these animations and oh gosh the stress the stress mm, yes <laughs> yes oh god oh i'm dead i'm in your tent you better come get me and i die oh Roasted. She wishes you dead. What he says. Love the new bandit dialogues. I see you with that arrow. Stay away from me. Hammer time. I don't want to get hit with that arrow. Ooh. Blow the eyes out of you. Ow! <laughs> Keeps getting so lucky with those. Now that's how it's done. <laughs> He's the last dude, too. He just kept inching back perfectly in time. But I'm definitely better without the HUD, actually. <laughs> Love how my triple jump just didn't work. Took an arrow in the ankle. And then I just broke both my ankles. I'm just having fun, honestly, so... It's all in good fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just got interested in testing my, my bow skills. On these poor unfortunate souls. Aw, oh, a little off. Rats. I'm just going after them for the lulls. Honestly, it's fun. Oh, knocked him down. Yeah, stand right there, dummy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm so good at 
lining up shots without the crosshair. Take a victory shot? Hell yeah! Okay, now all three of them together is gonna be a problem for me. Why don't you meet me at the top of the stairs? Bet you won't. Probably wouldn't even be able to make your way up here. If you do, I'll be impressed. Missed. Ah. Cheese. Mmm, I love cheese. Is it cheese if I'm not using a crossfire though? Running, or I can stab you in the back. Do I hear you running up the stairs? Face your death with some honor. Better stay down. Over here. Pray to Stendar while you can. Oh gosh, don't be arrows. Oh, didn't even know you were there. Be careful. Be careful what killing you? I fought worse than you. Do not resist. Uh. Tyranny disappointed. Oops. on? Do I have a filter on? I don't think so. Why? Does it look like I had a filter on or something? What are we talking about here? The filter? Oh, you're talking about like a face filter? Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you. If I had to recommend anything, CeraVe products. I like moisturizer. Drink lots of water. Speaking of water. Could just be the lighting too. Gotta remember, lockpicking is level one. We're literally so dumb at lockpicking. <laughs> Got an arrow in his butt. Marble Madness, yes! Welcome back, Nico. I love Marble Madness. a nice one. I don't even have security overhaul in my game yet. Just like locomotion. I don't know why you would ever want to fish right here. Ah! Oh no! Get back here, you fish! Whoa! What is that? No, oh, I didn't want to fish again! No! No fishy! Yeah, Marble Madness. 
Isn't that an old arcade game? Mmm, delicious. Oh, the jank. Yeah, are you talking about the fishing? Fishing can be kind of jank. That I agree with. No, physics. What a shame. Looks kind of cool, but needs physics. All these cloaks, they're either going to have to have physics or they're going to have to be removed. Uncle Geo's deodorant. <laughs> Included in XP. Wait, what's included in XP? Oh, Windows game. Windows XP. Gotcha. It's been forever since I was on Windows XP. I think on Windows XP I was playing the pinball, 3D pinball. That was my favorite one. Or Minesweeper. Skuma? Skuma! It was an arcade game? Oh! Back, I heard Skuma. Well, you know what that means. Skuma time! Oh gosh! I can swim everywhere! Whee! Whee! We're swimming on the land! We oh! <laughs> when the skuma hits! The skuma hits. Okay. What? No way. That is so cool. There's a raft out here too. you can get right wait where'd it go i like the little raft that's so cute now if only we had animations for rowing and stuff that'd be cool You can only activate the plank. The raft, yeah, Skyrim fairies. Look at us. We're practically sailing. Now you can call me Captain Runa. <laughs> Oh, that was a good shot, actually. What? What the hell? I have no arrows. I see you burn. Skyrim is for the Nords. strong is she? Oh, jeez. 
That's why I have the HUD on usually. Still got some good slashes on her though. She's an ascendant, so she'll definitely kick my butt. Nerevar won't guide nothing. And if I run, like that, I'll see you burn. Freezes me with ice. I guess freezer burns a thing though. Big boat. Who called me? Talking about Nerevar? Are you the Nerevar? The Nerevarine. Oops. We're taking rowboats. Wait, what the hell is that? Is that a skull? That's creepy. Really cool though. I can see Skokerfell. It's my house. We have random adventures with Runa right now. <laughs> Cross the river Styx. Why is that reminding me of a book that I'm reading currently? <laughs> Skyrim is for the Nords. So what's up with this island? Book name? Oh gosh, I'd have to go grab it. Crap. Give me a second. Give me one second. I remember what the book name is. I just started reading it, so... Oh, I have no idea. I'd have to go get it. It's a... We'll just say this. It's a... It's one of those books. Oh, that's what it's called. Neon Gods. Dark Olympus series. <sighs> Took me a second, sorry. Try Pandora? Nice! Pandora's cool. You said the river sticks, and it reminded me of that book that I'm reading. It's got four books currently. They're all pretty easy reads currently. Well, they're all pretty easy reads from what I've heard. So far, they're good. I like them. Hundreds of volumes already are present in Hell yeah. Well, I do like to read. Reading is fun. I need to do it more. Chair and be proud. Remember to bring a coin to pay the ferryman? Let's see. There's so many. Indeed. I still have a lot to learn about that stuff. You didn't see the bird. You saw nothing. Oops. Aw, I was like, wait, can you actually sit in the boat? Wait, wait for me! Aw, oh, come on. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> How many of these boats are there? What the heck? 
This one's under the water. I don't know, Skyrim Fairies is such a weird mod. Actually, whoa. I'm gonna say that one has to be broken too. Interesting idea. I hope it gets, you know, fixed up more in the future. Oh, that's awesome, Nico. You're hooked? Yeah, definitely check them out. What the hell? Thor Paul dagger. Is that something I can find on the Nexus? <laughs> Test for Pell Sword. Kind of interesting you could make it out here now just by going through all the different fairy systems. I don't know why I'm coming out here. <laughs> I don't think Runa would make a good vampire, so this is quite silly. Okay. Gotta test them, make sure we actually want them. Yeah, you could just use Ice Water Jetty to get there. I just want to have a little fun. I saw all those different fairies, I was like, huh? I had to test them out. What was the red? <laughs> what? In farming wrenches? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just funny that all of the mods decided to show up. <laughs> That's weird that that boat does that. The Vorpal Blade, ooh, cool. Oh, pretty. Damn. That thing's crazy looking. Hey, have a great night, Yamazi. Thanks for hanging out. Looks super cool. Wow.
game banana? What is that? Oh, cool, Nico. Jeez, that is old school. Damn. That's insane looking. Should remake it, put it in Skyrim. Can you get to more foam from here? What? Such a weird boat mechanic. I have to look into that one. Kind of cool though. Talking to me, okay. Hello. Yes? I wonder if a librarian at Cyrodiil leaves all the cleaning duties to a single apprentice. Probably. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Thalmor received no such <laughs> treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. I'm not jo joining the college with Runa. There's no way. I don't know. She might make a good mage. Maybe her mom would be a good mage, actually. No. Just saw the button. Everything all right? No. If you're here for sightseeing, well, then you've seen the sights. True. Might as well head somewhere warmer. Also true. Nice looking carts. Very snazzy. Whoa, that looks so cool. What?
totally forgot I was going to check Blackreach earlier. Whoa, too bright. Why is it so bright? Damn it, Lux. <laughs> no, I can't blame Lux. I have to blame myself. <laughs> Could be E and B related, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and TGM. It's. It must be. It could even be Embers, but I don't think so. When I turn off E and B, maybe E and B light. That's strange. It's a big sun underground. This is why you test your game. That's a purple tree. Do a TLSS. Nothing can stop me. I definitely have some things to fix in Blackreach. Good to know, actually. I mean, really, it just looks like an E and B issue with the ball, and I think this shimmery issue is probably. DLSS. Ow. That looks wicked cool. Love it. That's whoa. The design is crazy on that actually. What? my chat die? What the hell? What happened here? Apparently my chat died up here, everyone. I didn't even notice. That's super weird. I can see y'all now, but the chat on my OBS died, which I've never seen happen before, actually. Super weird. 
Now where's my grass? My computer is acting oh it was disabled. That's so weird. I have never seen OBS do that before. There it goes. There it goes. Cheese. Yeah, there it goes. That was like a whole five minutes plus. It's just getting tired. It's like, go to bed, higher shot. It can't keep up with me. I'm, I'm too good. No. Just imagine with the 24 hour stream. Which is coming next month. Hey, what's up, Disclo? Yeah, we're still streaming. I might go for a little longer. Good to see you, though. Hope you're doing well. 6.40 a.m.? Jeez. That's like the time I'm at work. We're testing some stuff out in Blackreach that I need to fix. Yeah, that's weird. It was fine on my phone, but OBS just completely freaked out. It's like my favorite song in the mix. Is that my eek? No, I always think it is, but it's not. Loken. Well, hello. Hello. See, I just love the tundra. It's so pretty. Even though you can't really see it. Oh, hello, giant. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I love the Tundra so much. Just luscious grass as far as the eye can see. Some, yeah, I think it's YouTube, probably. Maybe YouTube and OBS connection issues. Even though it's not telling me there's any issues. Just decides to be quirky, I guess. It's full of quirk. <laughs> From a darkened corner, right? True. So many things to fix tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, just so motivated and ready to fix said things. Don't worry about it. We'll look at it. It's fine. Well, the floating beehives, I am not going to fix at the moment. There's too many of them for me to focus on. The higher bots broke it too. I did have to read quite a bit to catch up. I was getting suspicious. I was like, the chat's been going pretty crazy the whole night. And now all of a sudden it's just quiet. What's going on? <laughs> the light road fishing spot. This is like my favorite spot of all time, actually, right here.
just stuffed your face like a hamster. I hope it was delicious, because it sounded delicious. Fast and sassy, or fat and sassy. <laughs> I'm feeling fat and sassy. But I eat nothing. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna eat some food after stream. Probably something with rice, because I love rice. <laughs> Oh, those arrows look cool. The Falmer arrows. I wonder who made those. Probably some guy named Nickel Rollsy or something. Another floating beehive. I see you over there. <laughs> Nickels are rolling? Yeah. Orders and dimes and pennies too. <laughs> but mainly nickels. Those five cents, just the most common. Drop and dies, yes. For five cents an hour is the average hourly wage in the wage in the province of Skyrim. Probably true. Be lucky to get one septum. There's only one good use for that septum. You must add it to the potage. Les magnifique, of course. <laughs> Just don't put the jar in root. Last thing you want is jar in root. Otherwise, it'll be the last, the last potage you ever eat. Wait, let's look at the mammoth cheese. Hmm, that's some mighty fine-looking mammoth cheese you got there. Except I don't know why you need to burn a fire midday. Back from your Skyrim escapade. Let me tell you, it was a lucrative one. Spent most of your time peddling junk and concocting some seriously OP potions for that sweet, sweet coin. Nice, chat GBT. I'm happy for you. That sounds like a wonderful adventure. I myself spent a lot of time messing around, messing with bandits and dealing with wildlife in Skyrim. You know, usual Runa stuff. Runa's an adventurer. She just hasn't taken an arrow to the knee yet. Eventually she will definitely be under her scene.
I've just been happily testing the game today. Is that a firm statue knock? I don't have arrows. Screw it. 7.3 grams gold, therefore, would be very valuable. Damn. One nasty septum. I missed. Smartest skeever alive. I don't know. I kind of want to turn the castle. I want to turn Fort Greymore into Castle Greymore. He had moves. He had the moves. Yeah, I have all of the at your own pace stuff. I'm currently doing companions with Tova. Look at all the beautiful butterflies. Oh my G. Defying Hersey makes you a werewolf. Ticked on. I don't- I did not tick that on, but I should. <laughs> Got the moves like Jack. Yeah, that is not an option I think I would have chose, but I could check it out. I also have the environs mods too. Hello, cow. He's so fluffy. I mean, look at the sky. Be a terrible day tomorrow. I know it. You know it. <laughs> I think you can actually. Of course. Let's dance. Yeah, let's dance was a good one. I don't know if you can. I think that's a bull, so I don't think you can milk the bull, of course. Cheese can heal, true. Okay. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can, though, honestly. Don't remember where it's at. Pretty funny though. What is a cow? Maybe you need a bucket. I don't know. Not re <laughs> not recommended. Not recommended at all. so cool to see this house not you know, destroyed it's actually a house until it gets destroyed and then somebody rebuilds it and whatever oh with a dynamic activation key which is probably shift which is my dodge so I have to switch that button the dynamic activation key should be I don't know. Maybe I'll make it caps or something. Oh, you can't. It is shift. Oh my god. Oh, help me. You can pet the chicken! Oh, I got really excited. It was just the leak. I just took the leak. I thought I pet the chicken. That is one thick chicken? Yeah, the thickens are awesome. And then Alex. Alex modding. Alex Oosh, whatever. I think made the diverse option for them. 
so not all of them will be thick. The chicken will be great in a pie, right? Huge hot chicken. Well, this one's fine. This one's just eating all the damn feed. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forget that that works off of dynamic activation key sometimes. You're going down, elk. You like the thickens more than the PS1 chickens? They're pretty funny. Skuma steroids are bad. Well, hey. We'll be feeding them GMOs and stuff. Once? What are you doing? Uh oh. We have another frozen horse. Well, not another frozen horse, but... Like I said, I definitely have some weird bugs. That I need to fix. Wait, where'd he go? Hear him. He's invisible. Once again, testing. That's why you test things, to fix them. Super weird horse. Super, super weird. Have a good night, Nico. You know, he invisible, see? Ooh, who cares? My ink. My ink wishes you well. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah. Oh, hey, Landstrider. The Thickens have bought, brought back gaming to 2009. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you're doing well tonight, Strider. Thanks for joining. Although his tail... It does not have the cool physics. does not remember his childhood. Perhaps he never had one. Perhaps. Hey, watch it! Well, stop. Two seconds. Maik is very practical. He has no need for mysticism. Maik the tiger. Keep your hands to yourself. Sorry, I'm just, I just want to say hi. Nords are so serious about beards. So many beards. Maik thinks they wish they had glorious he's running the opposite like way. Kajit. Perfect. Mike well, not perfect, now. but that's the right Go one. Bother somebody else. Mike is done talking. Go bother somebody else. Mike is done talking. Too bad. I'm not. What? Mike is done talking. Oh, I did the wrong one. The Skyrim Mike voice is so good. Mike is done talking. Perfect. It's perfect. Now it's not right in his face. Mike is done talking. Just got over the coof. What's that? Oh, that is. It's hard to decide what my favorite Maik is, but I do really like Morrowind's Maik. Although Project Jakaje Skyrim Maik is so cool. Yeah, I definitely hope you're feeling better.
It's definitely Morrowind. Yeah, true. Too true. I don't know. When he looks like a tiger, he is awfully cute. I do love his woods too, so that helps a lot. But okay. I should probably uh, call it a night here tonight, actually. I'm going to probably upload Runa tomorrow to the Nexus. Yeah, probably do that. I keep forgetting to do it, so. But alright. Wow, it's been a pretty eventful night tonight, actually. I had a blast. Six hour stream. We didn't have any crashes. I did leave the game once. But no crashes today, so. Win. Huge win. And thank you, Python. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Let's see if I can get as many people as possible. RM, Natalie, Piers, Python, Disclo, Landstrider, Hanzak, Blue Neptune. Have a wonderful night. Natalie. I saw Natalie out there. There's so many people out there, it's hard to keep track, so I do apologize, but I try my very best. RM, have a wonderful night. Don't mind me, I'm just currently staring at Runa. <laughs> yeah, sweet dreams to you too, Blue Neptune. Well, everyone else out there, if you're still watching, I hope you have a beautiful night or day now that it's morning for me. And I will see you tomorrow for some more Skyrim, probably. But you never know. I could have some tricks up my sleeve. And... <laughs> Until next time, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you very much. I shout out. Later. <laughs>